Uh oh. <laughs> okay, let's fix this. Ew, why is it so. Ew. <laughs> okay, okay. Ew, it's so bright. Ew. Ew. Okay, that looks better. I'm back. Uh-oh. I said my capture cards are broken. Or not broken. Okay. I'm gonna verify that the audio is sync. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. It's past 11-11. I mean, now I look white. It synced. It's good. Anyway. Okay, comfy. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is Thursday, February 29th in leap year. The final day of February. February. Also, you can see. I did play a little bit of the Unicorn Overlord demo. And you know what? I kind of like it. But I don't know if it'll be a good stream game. I don't think it'll be a good game because, like, it's... The the fight's, like, auto-play, so you don't even get, like, to, like, check if your moves do well. It's, I thought it was an RPG. It's not an RPG. Hi, Electra. Hi, Rainy. Can we get some yos? Hello. Guys, you guys are both subscribers. There are five new emotes. Let's see if I can find them. Hi, Chip. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Here, I'll put the scary music back on. <gasps> New emotes! Mods, they've enabled Peace I2 Gold. Peace I2... No way. Peace I2 Nerd. Peace I2 Prime. And Peace I2 Low. Which is your favorite? Put your favorite in chat. If you're a sub, um... I can't enable any more follower emotes because I'm already maxed out. I think my max is like... How many follower emotes? I I can't add any more. There's no just. I think it's five is my max. Okay, this is way too loud for me. Here, it's kind of loud. <laughs> the music is not the vibe. Um, I added new sub emotes because for the EU viewers, Twitch sub subscriptions went up like fifty cents to a dollar in some countries. So you know what? If you're in the EU. This will justify subscribing at five new emotes, and because they're raising the price for EU viewers, I assume they're only going to raise subscription prices in the state soon as well. So, whenever there is another price increase, I'll add more emotes. And I know I filmed some animated ones, and I have, I think, 11 animated slots open now. So, I will add those when I need to. They ain't touching US. No, I think they will. I think they will. I am convinced they will. It's called karma for colonizing. <laughs> okay. So, today, I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of Paranormal Sight, The Seven Mysteries of Hondra. Trigger warning, it's a scary game. Okay, scary game. And it has full voice acting, meaning I do all the voices. I played this for six hours yesterday, and... Also, last night, I went to the comedy club. Nobody made fun of me for wearing a mask. Isn't that cool? So, 
I didn't, I didn't laugh at any of the jokes because my throat was dead. I couldn't make an audible sound from my throat. So hopefully, I beat this game today. Allegedly, there might be a secret hidden chapter once you beat the game. They did raise it for Canada? Take this L. <laughs> By the way, hopefully the new emotes make it worth it, right? Right. Um, looking at them, I think my favorite is Peace I to Gold. It's pretty solid. Also, I like the preface. I will not be enabling tier two or three tier three emotes at this time. I I believe in equality and socialism. Okay. So, yesterday we left off. We have just freed Michia. We sent her back into the spirit world. Hopefully, Yaku is no longer possessed. And we left off stream right at that point. Hopefully. Hopefully I saved correctly. Ooh, scary. Oh my god, I did. Okay, okay. So we just released Michio back in Spirit World. Now, we're gonna go meet with that guy who ran over at the bridge. Ryu Goku Bridge. Yako, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, I feel a lot better. I guess I really wasn't feeling like myself recently. It was like there was a part of me that I had no control over or something. Yeah, I think you're back to your normal self now. I'm glad there wasn't any problems. Unless... I wonder if Michio was able to find peace. I know she did. You don't have to worry about that. Wait, also, am I in just chatting? Sorry. <laughs> Why did I change to just chatting? I'm sorry. Scary game. Paranormal site. I forgot to change it. Guys, rate of mature. Scary game. Trigger warning. There we go. Now we won't get in trouble. <clears throat> It seems that our girl is not being able to tell you what was going on and growing apart from you. Well, I guess I can forgive her for that. But there's still something bothering me. Really? Yeah, I wonder what this feeling is. Does she still have the ribbon? Or what? No, no, no. Because the white ribbon was left at the crime scene. There's no way she would, like, pick it up, right? Surely. She's gotta have some, like, little bit of her spirit left in her. It's like there's a piece of her that hasn't left yet. Hmm. It may be an after effect. Maybe because you gave your stone to Chief Inspector Satsumi? Doubt it. Having a cursed stone shouldn't have any effect on your body. But dealing with four curses sounds like a lot of stress. Good work, Chief. Someone's, like, a completely different person all of a sudden. But are you really sure about this? Having us arrest you once this is all over? Wait, what? No! I don't want to go to Juvie. You might be able to get your case treated as just an accident. It's fine. Treat me the same as someone who used a curse stone to kill someone. If anything, I should be thanking you for letting me go free until this is all over. So, thanks, Chief. Why'd she want to go to jail? She's crazy! Yaku Sakazaki, 2 p.m. Ryo Goku Bridge. We should just shove the guy off the bridge. He killed her friend Michio. It's only even. Namagaki. Whoa, whoa, he didn't say anything about bringing the police. Sorry, but we don't have time to care about what you have to say about us. What business do you have with this girl now that you've lost her curse stone? I'll tell you this for free. I have her curse stone already. Ah. We should beat his ass. Wait, whose POV is this? I think this is detective POV. There's a lot of traffic around here, and it's very noisy during the day. The amount of exhaust coming from cars is overwhelming. I hear it's not healthy.
I don't have any ill intentions. I wanted to tell you that I want to help if you intend to resurrect Michio Shiraishi. That was my intention from the beginning when I received my curse stone. Yes, that's right. And that's why I took your curse stone, man. Oh wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> and that's why I took your curse stone. Man, can't be too careful. Besides, what connection do you have to Michio Shiraishi? We, um, met once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Mm-hmm. Met once. I see. Well, I'm sure it must have been painful for you, but... Do you think bringing back the dead will erase the fact that you hit her with your car? What? Hot. I'm sure that I have no idea what you're talking about. Got him! Oh wait, this is Yako POV. Okay, I was confused. If you don't know, I'll tell you. And you'll let me ask you some questions in return. Ah. Did you just get your license recently, huh? We found a van with bloodstains on it, you see. It's only a matter of time before we find out who the owner is. Well, what, what's that supposed to mean? Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Michio Shiraishi? Not only that, you killed someone with your curse stone, didn't you? Stop! Stay away from me! A cab. <laughs> He's a college student. Of course he'd think that. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I give up. Ah, it's all over for me. Afterwards, Yutaro Namagaki gave his confession. He admitted that he was behind the wheel of the van that hit Michio Shiraishi. He explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl he had in the car with him. After hitting the schoolgirl, he drove away and planned to wash the car in secret to destroy the evidence. But he became nervous and went back to the scene of the crime at the urging of his passenger. When they returned to the scene, the female passenger went to check the victim alone while he sat panicking in the car. When she returned, she told him people were unlikely to assume a hit and run, as it looked similar to a suicide by jumping from height. Afterwards, the pair parted ways and Yutaro dumped the vehicle deep in the woods under the cover of night. The two of them decided to keep the accident a secret. Dude, imagine that happening on your first date, bro. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever talk to him again, you know? Also, today I have orange juice. <clears throat> the next morning, Michio Shiraishi's body was discovered, and luckily for them, her death was ruled a suicide. However, a darkness lingered within his heart. From that day on, the schoolgirl appeared before him covered in blood, her limbs bent and broken despite him and his dreams every night. Even when awake, he could see a phantom of her corpse in the dark, moaning and cursing him at all times. Troubled by the constant hallucinations, it was only a number of days before he suffered a nervous breakdown. He couldn't bear hiding what he'd done anymore and planned to turn himself in but was stopped by the passenger from that night. It was then that he first heard rumors of the Rite of Resurrection. I wonder who the girl in the car was? Because I don't think it's the artsy girl. It could be the girl from the beginning, who also died. He thought that if he could resurrect the schoolgirl, that it would be like the accident never happened, and without the darkness enshrouding his heart could be dissipated. From then on, he searched the areas associated with the seven mysteries of Honjo every night, and he received the curse of the foot-washing mansion as a result. I see. That's right, I'm not a bad man. I wanted to turn myself in. It was that girl who tempted me. Okay, okay. Come down and listen some. If you don't think you've done anything wrong, what would these girls think if they saw you run over that poor girl? Uh. There's something I want to know. 
Do you know anything about a talisman that Michio should have had on her at the time of the accident? Talisman? What are you talking about? Hmm. So you don't know anything. In that case, what about that woman who was with you? Can you ask her? Oh, that's right. Everything is her fault in the first place. Well, that may not exactly be wrong. Just riding passenger in a car involved in an involuntary vehicular manslaughter isn't a crime in and of itself. But according to your statement, she neglected her duty to seek aid and instigated you to neglect your duty to report the accident. And if she took an article from the scene, she'd also be charged with theft. Can you tell me who she is? You have no intent of hiding anything anymore, do you? Yeah, that's right. It's her fault. Do what you want with her, it's time for her to face what she's done. Her name is Ayame Tono. She's an art student I met in town. Oh, it is the art student, okay. What? An art student named Ayame Tono. Whoa, whoa. Are you absolutely sure of that? What point would there be in lying to you now? What, do you know her or something? She may look nice, but she's rotten on the inside. I'd like to meet the parents who raised someone like that. Could she be the baby? Shut up. Because the baby would be college age. Wait, wait. What's wrong, Inspector Sitsumi? You're drenched in sweat. That's why he's freaking out! Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Damn it, why? How could this happen? Listen up. I'm taking this one with me down to the station for more questioning. You two go after the record of fates, Yen Scroll, got it? Um, okay, we will. Come with me. She's gotta be the killer's game? Whoa! Um, let's get going. Yeah. Okay, hey, there would be no other reason for the detective to freak out that much. Because they don't, yeah, they haven't met the art student yet. Because the only people who have met the art student is the, is the mercenary detective, not the actual cops. Dude, it has to be the killer's kid! Because I assume he would know the identity that the baby was given after they were put in witness protection. Okay. Let's continue on with the high schoolers POV. Let's do this. Having regained control of herself, having regained control of herself, Yaku rejoins Mio on their search for the record of fate, Zian Scroll, so that they can stop the curse. However, they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow. Yaku Sakazaki, 4 p.m. Dude, we only got like two more hours. South Warigashi, Warigesui Street. I know we're supposed to be finding that Record of Fates Yin Scroll thing, but. It sure would be nice if we had more of a lead to work with. Right now, our only option is to try and trace the bloodline of the Omioji Simon Suchi Mikado to today. But he's not a legitimate descendant of his family, so the library doesn't have anything about it. And since we got nothing so far, we find ourselves here. The soap factory. There were a bunch of police cars speeding by here earlier. I wonder if something happened. Must be. I've seen a few police officers and they look like they were on edge. Could Inspector Sitsumi have let that Najima escape? And everyone's scrambling to find him? Oh. After all the effort we put into gathering information, that would be unfortunate. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Mio! My god. 
I haven't been jump scared in a while. Because, like, the past few hours in game have just been, like, building up to the climax. It's more like thriller than horror right now. So this is the Hihako Soap's headquarters. So we're thinking that one of the high-ranking people here is most likely the mastermind. Chairwoman Yamamori, was it? Wait, are chairwoman high-ranking? Isn't the most important person at a company the president? Hmm, I'm not sure, but she's definitely an important person. Even if we're able to meet with her, what do we talk with her about? We can't just waltz in there and ask her if she knows about the Inscroll out of nowhere. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Oh, is that your working style, Mio? Or, er, well, whenever I find myself out of options, I usually just jump right into the thick of it. Oh, if you're scared, I don't mind going in by myself. Scared? <laughs> as if. Think of me as your trusty bodyguard. I don't mind going big and taking chances. Oh yeah, that's the Yako I know. Now, shall we? Let's wait. Sorry, hold on just a minute. No problem, we can take our time. Because I can actually talk to her too. Ooh, there's the sticker. Mockingbird number 17. My favorite number. Oh, Mio. What about that one guy? The one Inspector Tsutsumi checked with? I forgot his name. All right. Apparently he never heard of Nakagoshi. Not that we have a way of contacting him directly anyway. We just have to leave a message with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau's messenger and hope it reaches him. He's always the one who contacts me, even if it's only instructions. Oh. Well, I guess we're in a tight spot then. We won't get anywhere just waiting around. Let's do the best we can working on our own. Let's go in. Now, shall we? All right, let's give this a shot. Um, excuse us. Looks like we're out of luck. Who knew you needed an appointment months in advance to meet a chairwoman? Turns out she's super duper important. Even the receptionist gave us the cold shoulder after realizing we're just students. Maybe her private secretary would hear us out. But they seem to be out at the moment. Hmm. In that case... Oh, we gotta stop here? Dang. Okay. Back to the private detective. Too much to handle. Haraway and Richard break into the Shiraishi residence with the detectives. They find a journal left behind by the deceased EY, finally revealing the mystery behind the kidnapping. However, Hadaway remains unsatisfied. Yeah, Hadaway still wants to, like, kill everybody. Even after seeing, like, the guy brutally killed by Michio's ghost, she's still like, I'm down. I love that. Hadaway Shigima, 1 p.m. Shigima Mansion, reception room. In further news, today the body of an adult male was discovered in the residence of one Toshiko Shiraishi around noon. The man, identified as Kanki Chiro Iwai, is said to have been in a relationship with Toshiko. He was unemployed at the time of his death. While further investigations are still underway, it's suspected that his death is connected to the recent serial killings in Honjo. Evidence on the scene may also implicate Mr. EY in the unsolved child abduction and murder case from last year. I was it broken the news already? Well, ma'am. It seems like we managed to settle one part of the kidnapping case for now. Let's begin discussing our next steps. 
Right. I don't have a reason to use the phone right now. I've stopped watching the news. There's too much fluff. I wish they'd cut out the pointless stories and just reported on what's important. Ooh, sticker! Oh, I haven't gotten the sticker already? Damn. Okay, let's talk to Richard. Judging by the official announcement, it seems what Eli wrote is likely true. With both the kidnapper and his young accomplice dead, the police should be able to handle the rest. Now that it's over, I can't help but think to... I can't help but think how pitiful it all is. We never would have known a thing had we not found his journal. Carelessness is what usually leads to crimes like these being exposed. It was pretty much the same with the Nijima murders. But stumbling across the answer by pure chance really makes you think. It makes my skin crawl to think of how many cases like this are left undiscovered. Me too. It's certainly disturbing. Hi, Aslan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Well, with the kidnapping case all wrapped up, we can focus our efforts on obtaining the right of resurrection, yes? Indeed. I'm counting on you. Wait, why is he still in for that part? I thought he was a good guy. Alright, let's reassess this cursed situation. Right. I must admit, I never expected the police to be so on top of things. The Chief Inspector! So. Sorry. <laughs> so sometimes my shower drips, and it just dripped and was really loud. <laughs> it sounded like a phone vibrating. I don't know if you could see me jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was the game. Because <laughs> I had disabled all vibration. Okay, I'm good. Immersion ruined. The Chief Inspector, Tetsuo Satsumi, provided us a good wealth of information. I'm surprised he knew so much about the curse bearers. Do you think they noticed I'm one of them? I'm pretty sure Adio didn't. The chief inspector, on the other hand, will have to be careful around him. But if he had suspected anything, I'm sure he would have detained us. We should stay vigilant moving forward. Agreed. Even if we steal a curse stone, you may not be able to successfully perform the rite unless you're a curse bearer yourself. Would you be okay with hanging on to the stone from now on? Of course. Just don't use it though, okay? Alright. She's gonna kill Richard. Cause he knows too much. If what we've heard is true, there are just three curse bearers left to be discovered. There's the Whispering Canal, the Beckoning Light, and the Taiko of Sugaru left to investigate. It may, benefit that, it may benefit us to visit the places connected to these stories a few times. I see. I'm still highly suspicious of the people at Haki. <laughs> I'm still highly suspicious of the people at Hiyaku Soaps. They could be the ones pulling the strings. That Takumi Yumioka fella is probably aware of the curse bearers we're searching for. Tracking his movements may prove to be useful. You want to follow him? If you- if we were able to follow anyone, he'd be my first choice, but... Damn it. Times like this really have me wishing I had more personnel. I imagine it's tough working on your own. It's the plight of running a small business. I'm always on the hunt for a skilled assistant. Wait, is- is he? Does he want me to be the assistant? And then there's Najima, who appears to be a curse bearer too. The one-sided reed, I think it was. If we want to look for someone that's likely to gather a whole lot of soul drags, well, look no further. 
He did say he would unleash his curse on a large number of people at nightfall. If he gets the chance to. If the chief inspector manages to track down Michio, then, well, there's a chance he'll manage to apprehend Najima before he gets up to no good. But why did you tell... But why did you tell the chief inspector about the safe house? If he hadn't had that lead... It was written in Eli's memoirs. It was just a matter of time until he found out. Besides, we're talking about a massacre here. I can't just turn a blind eye. How different is it from any other curse bearer collecting soul dregs? Well, if we're talking Najima, it could be a lot more dangerous. We'll just keep a close eye on Najima and the cops. What about the girl from before, Ayame Tono? Do you think she could be a curse bearer? Well, there's a chance that she could have gone and stolen someone else's curse stone by now. That's possible too, but... Hmm? We haven't been to Mirochio Park yet. Mirorichio. Mirorichio. We haven't been to Mirorichio Park yet, and the place connected to the Taiko Sugaru. Alright. That's close to where she lives. What if she was a curse bearer the other time? She could have lied. It's possible. It would make her a brilliant actress to boot. The idea's got me itching to investigate her again. That place is rather suspicious. If only we can run into someone there. Pritcher? Yes. Um... Ah, uh, that's right. Would you mind if we make a stop on our way? We can make it quick. I apologize for the diversion, but I'd like to visit a candy store if possible. Huh? Um, I suppose I don't mind. Only thing at the candy store was Michio's ghost and then Yako's home. The fax machine. It can send images to other places along the telephone network. I really find a use for it. Oh yeah, they don't have cell phones yet. I forgot. <laughs> this is in like the 90s, I think. I've grown so used to seeing the scroll, I don't really give it a second thought. No matter how much I look at the flowers, they don't make me feel anything. I wonder what kind of music Richard is into. I imagine he likes English songs. I suppose I should offer him some tea, but I don't really feel like it. Okay, let's get a move on. Then... Shall we depart? From this part on, you'll be able to give the- Okay. From this part on, you'll be given the option to finish investigation, which will allow you to immediately end this part. From there on, you can continue on to the next part. You may also come back and restart this section from the point which you left off. Okay. Interesting. He said he wanted to go to the candy shop first, so let's go there first. He's got a sweet tooth just like me. Candy shop, Sonoya. Hmm, Sonoya. The children seem pretty fond of this place. It seems comparatively new. They must have had renovations done not long ago. The shop's close to the park, so children have been coming and going without pause. Places like this candy shop have been slowly disappearing from the street for you recently. There are some vending machines. You can buy canned juice for 100 yen. These days, vending machines sell a lot of things besides juice, too. I'm not gonna lie, the vending machines in Japan are crazy.
All right, map. Should we go for Mon Monyadaki? Mon Mon Monja Monjayaki. All right, ma'am. Should we go for Monjayaki or something? That's sweet of you, but I'm not hungry right now. That's too bad. I haven't had a great luck with this mockingbird raffle. Would you mind if I tried a few more times? Apparently, most of these are just replicas of the real deal, but even so, they're well worth the price. Some of the kids were saying they managed to snap some real rare finds in this lottery. Go ahead. Don't buy them all now. Just let me know when you want to leave, okay? Okay. Okay. He wanted to buy gotchas? Like, what? He's a child. Let's go to the park next, because that's where we were planning on going initially. Mirorecho Park. Everyone is relaxing so peacefully in the park. It's hard to imagine it was the site of some horrid curse. He's here! Hey, that lady over there. That's Ayame Tono. She seems to be trying to hide. We'll stake her out. We don't want to startle her and have her run off on us. So let's sit and watch her for now. We've reason to believe the cursed bear of the Taiko Sugato was here last night. It's possible they're already dead, but we haven't found any definitive leads. Plot twist, let's call out to her. It doesn't look like she's planning to move anytime soon. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, he's gone. I suppose he really wanted to talk with her. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Does he mean to jump out and surprise her from behind? Huh? Does he mean to intimidate her? Oh, she noticed. I guess his purpose was to talk with her after all. I wonder what they're talking about. She doesn't look like she's planning to run. Oh, they're coming here. Here she is! What do you think? Smooth work by the master, huh? Yes, very smooth. Hello! Thank you so much for yesterday! I know this is sudden, but I'm actually being pursued right now. Pursued? By who? I think it's the police. Would you be willing to provide me shelter? From the police? I figured we could hear her out and see what kind of mess she's gotten herself into. Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of- Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of criminal, please! The police have my apartment staked out, so I haven't been able to return home. I heard them say something about wanting to protect me, but something didn't feel right and I got scared. Do you have any idea why they're after you? Well, I have been searching for the curses, so... We shouldn't trouble ourselves with hiding you if they're after you for a good reason. Huh? How cruel! But this handsome investigator wouldn't turn me in so easily, would you? It's unfortunate, but we got reason not to get involved with the police ourselves. What shady reasoning! But if you got some murky secrets to hide, you might as well cooperate with each other, no? But if you got some murky secret to hide... Oh, same thing. Anyway, how are your plans to resurrect... Oh, Hokusa. Anyway, how are your plans to resurrect... <laughs> anyway, how are your plans to resurrect Hokusai going? Oh, unfortunately, 
That's been going quite well. Oh. Does that mean you found someone to steal the curse stone from? Not exactly, but I found out a kind of last resort, which is why I can't let the police get me. What do you mean by last resort? You're really asking me that? It doesn't concern you at all. But why should I tell you? Uh. She has the scroll. What if we make a deal? In exchange for keeping you hidden from the police, you'll tell us what... What if we make a deal? In exchange for keeping you hidden from the police, you'll tell us about your last resort. Huh. Is that what got you interested? Oh, I've got it! You're meaning to steal it for yourself. Not at all. I'm just curious. That excuse will just not do. I don't need you to. I'll find a way to stay safe on my own. That was a close one. I should have known the only one I can count on in this world is yourself. Dang it. She got away. Ah. Uh. We can't let her get away. Let's go after her. Stop it. Get any closer and I'll scream. Please, wait. We'll help you out. With no conditions. Well, you changed your mind quick. That just makes you all the more suspicious. I tried my best, but I couldn't convince her to stay. Could it be that you don't know how to handle a girl like that? Huh. Then she's looking for a safe haven. Would you mind me sharing your address with her? Just in case. Well... It doesn't really bother me, but you recognize there are police officers in my close family. At least it'll allow us... At least it'll allow us a way to keep in contact, no matter how small. Ayame Tono says her plans for the Rite of Resurrection may be achievable through this last resort. Does that mean she's given up on her plan to steal a curse stone? Richard? Hmm? You know... I have one as well. A last resort? You do? Oh. Even if we don't steal another curse stone... I already have my own. If it becomes necessary, I am prepared to use it. Hmm. So you think it might be possible that she has one of her own, too? But that she despises the idea of using it to kill others, so instead she means to steal a cursed stone, with soul drinks already in it. It doesn't contradict anything we know. She lives nearby, which means she might have the type of Sugato cursed stone. We still don't know much about that one. Richard? That last resort Ayame spoke of. It could be our chance. We can use her. I hear you loud and clear. What does that mean, though? I don't know. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. These are two gold. Guys, put your gold kappas in chat. Okay, my theory is, my theory is, the girl, the art student, is the kid of the murderer. She got in contact with the murderer in prison, because you know, all adopted kids want to find their actual parents. So she found out that her dad was a killer. She got in contact with the dad. She wants to avenge the dad, so she's helping the dad get cursed on so they can kill the whole city. Because she actually hates her adopted parents. That's my theory. Let's keep on the move. Only G Bridge. Only G Bridge. It is weird to see like so many people in the background. Like, 
How are how is nobody calling Sam? There are so many old factories alongside this river. It must have been quite different in its glory days. But now most of them are closed down due to the tighter regulations on waste disposal. What do you think that is? Oh? Um... I don't see anything. Really? You don't see that? That thing that looks like a phantom ball of flame floating in the air. A ball of flame? It must be the curse echo. Maybe only the curse bearers are capable of seeing it. But could such a thing happen in broad daylight? Huh. It's gone! It's gone. Hmm. I wonder if that was the beckoning light's curse echo. That phantom flame you saw might have been a manifestation of the lantern. In that case, does that mean a curse bearer is nearby? They're right behind us! <laughs> Imagine. Hmm. It doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I wonder if one of the... I wonder if it's one of the factories that got shut down when they tightened up regulations. Why is it letting me repeat the dialogue? Hey, this person is new. It was a girl earlier. A curse bearer might be lurking in the vicinity. I'm gonna go check the surroundings. Oh. Nothing. I didn't find anyone who looked the part. I see. I don't doubt something happened around here, but... Something might have changed in the area. Keep your eyes peeled. Um... It looks the same. The water? Yeah, every time I look back, there's a new person on the bridge. Also, what is this on the bridge? A phone booth? Seeing anything new. What you saw earlier must have been the beckoning light. Something might have changed after what we just happened. Maybe we gotta go somewhere else. Not, I'm looking for the story files. The beckoning light. select the beckoning light. <laughs> okay, we're walking along the road near Ho'onji at night.
Ah, uh, so it is ho OMG Bridge. Okay, I thought I would. I thought I'd move somewhere else. Something might have changed. Let's come back here. Kinshibori Park. Kinshibori Park. Dude, why are kids out about? There was three murders last night. I would stay in my home. The area was closed off to the public this morning after his body was found, but the police quickly managed to complete their investigation and reopen the park as if nothing had ever happened. The people in the area are shockingly calm, considering what happened here. That's what I'm saying. They're weird. You'd think they'd be put off knowing there was a dead body here just in the morning. From what I heard, it happened right about where you're standing now. Oh! Okay, not cool, Richard. Would you look at that? That's a pretty unique looking playground. Did it catch your eye? Perhaps. Now is not the time, though. But it did get you interested. Does he want to play on it? They made it quite the challenge to pass through it. They made it quite the challenge to pass through it. You'd have to go underneath there. He definitely wants to play on it. <laughs> you can go take a look if you're that interested. Hmm. All right. I'll go check it out just to make sure. He didn't have to. He didn't have to think long about that. Hmm. What's that? Did he find something? I found a mockingbird under the playground equipment! Damn, talk about lucky! It's a number 19 penny prowl! Ooh! Another sticker! I see. Congrats. Playgrounds always get me fired up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you okay, Richard? A telephone booth. It doesn't look out of the ordinary to me. This place is associated with the Whispering Canal. The canal must be connected to the man who was found drowned in the park. Agreed. Wasn't the victim a Hiyako Self's employee? That's right. His name was Shogo Ikie. Considering his occupation, he probably came here in search of a curse stone. If people in the company knew about the right, it only makes sense they'd be looking for curse stones. You think the chairwoman and Takumi would send their regular employees out to hunt for the stones? If that's the case, perhaps that Shogo died trying to take a stone from someone else. Either that, or... He was killed precisely because he was a curse bearer with a cursed stone. I suppose so, but... Considering the location, wouldn't that mean the curse used was the Whispering Canal? Good point. That would mean Shogo Ike wasn't the welder... Welder, wielder. Good point. That would mean Shogo Ike was... E.K. was it? E.K. A. was it? Good point. That would mean Shogo E.K. was it the wielder of the Whispering Canal curse himself. Could he have had the beckoning light or even the Taiko of Sugaru? I was here last night, and there weren't any dead bodies then. It was highly possible he was brought here from somewhere else. If that's the case, the wielder of the Whispering Canal had already collected his stone. Oh, ma'am, excuse me, but there's one more thing I'd like to try. Oh, be my guest. Is he gonna go back to that playground? You know what I love going back to? Ad breaks. Because guys, we are an hour in stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that in 
like subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. Also, five new sub emotes? Ain't no way. Now is the time to subscribe. I'm also gonna double check audio because the capture cards broke earlier. It's good. Whew. Also, I think my saturation is too low. I look dead. Let me fix that. <laughs> okay, what was it before? Oh, shit. Is that 12? 23, that looks better. I don't look completely dead inside. Shogoike is the name of the person who died here. It's hard to believe he was here by chance, only to end up murdered with a curse. Given his ties to Hihaku, Hihaku, given his ties to Hihaku, we can assume he was aware of the situation and somehow involved with these curses. Ike was like totally innocent. In his Ike was totally innocent. He was just on a date trying to riz, and the girl liked occult stuff. They just got so unlucky. Let's get on the move. I wanna go back to the bridge. Anything different? Nope, nothing different. I think... Let's think, actually, let's think. And what if I saw... And what if what I saw was the curse echo of the beckoning light? Wouldn't that mean that the curse bear is nearby? Not feeling any strange presence, but that could be because it's midday. Let's go back to the candy shop. I think I'm gonna go to all the locations and think. It almost feels like I came here with a child. The boy never had much of a taste for sweets. It makes this kind of feel like a fresh experience for me. Ew, this is getting weird. No. I can't help but feel oddly irritated around that girl, Ayami Tono. She puts on an innocent front, but she seems to be hiding something. Up. What do we need to do to get our hands on a curse stone filled with soul dregs? The two curse bearers battled it out here last night. Who could the other person have been? off at the bridge and I think we'll pause on this chapter for now because at the beginning it did tell us if you get stuck try a different chapter try a different POV yeah it's the same thought let's finish the investigation for now and we'll come back later
Because the only dialogue that wasn't completed was the bridge sequence. What is this? Oh no! New character! Okay, I knew there was gonna be a, a fifth storyline. I thought it only opened at the end. Okay, okay. Darkness! I don't want to do that now. I'll, I'll get back to it. Manhunt. Tatsuo Tsutsumi. Having learned the location of Najima's hideout from Ichio, Tsutsumi and Adio request back from HQ for Najima's arrest as their manhunt picks up speed. Ooh, we're gonna do some blasting! Tetsuo Tsutsumi, 4 p.m. From HQ to all bureaus. Officers have discovered the residence of paroled offender Fumichio Nijima. Or Fumichika. Officers have discovered the residence of a paroled offender, Fumichika Najima, currently wanted under suspicion of criminal threat. Suspect escaped, Suspect escaped his residence prior to officer's arrival, and now is at large in Sumida City. Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All bureaus are instructed to pursue. I almost said peruse. <laughs> Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All bureaus are instructed to pursue, ensuring that he does not take refuge indoors. Oh my god, cop watch. No, car case, car case, car chase watch. My stutter is getting worse. It's fine. Furthermore, suspect is believed to possess a weapon capable of causing large scale casualties. All officers are instructed to exercise extreme caution in their pursuit, remaining vigilant for signs of explosives and poison gas. Former Yasuda Gardens. Why are we here? Sorry, boss. I tracked him to Jima's safe house, but he licked him just before we got there. Not your fault. We should have known he'd be on the lookout for us. We've got officers all over town. It's only a matter of time before we bag him. The rest of the town's crawling with police, but there's practically no one here. We've been running ourselves ragged all day. It's nice to finally stop and catch our breath. We cannot get over Edio's voice. <laughs> He's supposed to sound like this. He's supposed to sound cheery. Nothing here, just you and me, Edio. So, boss, who? What are we doing here anyway? I figured Najima would show up. Call it a hunch, but he used this place as a hideout twenty years ago. Fair enough, but will he even remember it after so long? Remember that mugshot of Najima we circulated? I think it was from when he got on parole, but except that. Sorry. The lips? Yeah, they're. Holy. <laughs> I think Edio's the cutest. I'll say it. I think it was from when he got on, on parole, but except for a few wrinkles, he looked like just what. Like he. He looks. He looks just like he did. Okay. I have this problem. Of assuming what words are and not actually reading them. It's actually so bad. Okay. I think it was from when he got out on parole, but except for a few wrinkles, he looks just like he did 20 years ago. Yeah, no idea how he kept on that weight. Wait, no idea how he kept up that weight. Yeah, no idea how he kept up that weight on a poison diet. 
That's a stroke of luck, though, isn't it? It means he'll be easy to spot. See? There's something bothering me about that. We've got every officer in the damn area looking for him, but no one's seen a thing. Which makes me wonder, what if we're looking for the wrong face? You mean he slimmed down? But it's only been half a year since he made parole. Could he really have lost that much weight in just six months? Well, he must look different enough that no one recognized him when he started working at Komogata High. Good point, but that means the photo we've got is useless. I know we didn't see anyone when we looked around before, but maybe we should check again. Don't bother. It's only been a few minutes. Let's take a second to sit and think. Aye, aye, boss. Break time it is. Nobody better be behind me. Oh, those are apples. I thought that was a face. No, he better not jump out, please. In the chapter, like, screenshot, when I loaded it up, it had Eddie holding a gun. He's gonna pop up, isn't he? He's gonna... Oh, no. Huh? Hey, boss. Hmm? I think I hear something coming from those bushes over there. You sure it ain't the wind? Hello? Is anyone there? Well, I'll be damned. Hey, you. Let me ask you something. How she and how can I help you two find gents? Oh, it's this guy! Oh, wait. Oh, I'm face cam. <laughs> um, let me fix it. Uh-oh. I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. I'm fixed. This was the janitor. Hmm. Do I know you? I could have swear I've seen you somewhere before. Pray you ain't gonna charm anyone with that tired old line, sir. Not even this old timer. Playing hard to get, eh? My mistake. Anyway, what's your business here? Just enjoying a moment to myself since I've got the day off. I like it here. It's peaceful. We're looking for someone. Mind if we ask you some questions? Sounds like a lucky man, sir, to have a strapping gent like yourself after him. What? No, <laughs> he's a freak. This one's business, not pleasure. I've dedicated my life to putting this guy behind bars. You can say that again. Boss put in so many hours, even his wife and kid left him. Shut up, Edio. Enough, Edio. You'll set him off. Sorry to hear that, sir. But if you glared at them like that all day, I can't say I'm my... Sorry to hear that, sir. But if you glared at them like that all day, I can't say I blame them. <laughs> well, that's it. The guy I'm used to... Oh, that's it. The guy I'm after used to laugh just like that. You sure you haven't seen him? Oh, no, sir. Don't know anyone like that, sir. But with a laugh like that... He must be bad to the bone. He's a nasty piece of work, all right. But maybe he can still do the right thing. You'd like to think so, eh? Adio, call for backup. Huh, you mean that <laughs> God damn it, we should have shot him. Crap, he's running away. Wait. I'll go after him. You get backup. Okay, I'm on it. I just saw the sticker in the cutscene too. I missed it. From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has been sighted in the former Yasuda Gardens and is fleeing towards Komagatu Bridge. Adio, go the long way round. We'll trap him on the bridge. Mm, got it! Get 
give it up to Jima. Wait, do the officers in Japan have guns? I don't think they do. You're surrounded. There's no way out. Hey okay, now. You're really gonna pull that thing on poor old me. When did the boys in blue get so trigger happy around unarmed civilians? Armed on my ass. You know what the curse you're packing is capable of. But we also know it can't do shit in daylight. So give it up and go in quietly. Can't do shit in daylight, eh? What do you think I am, some third-rate amateur? I'm a goddamn black magician. No way! Can black magic really do that? Like hell it can. He's pulling that out of his ass. Black magic is from the West. And these curses are Japanese. They don't have anything to do with each other. Besides, if he could use curses while the sun was up, he wouldn't have given us until dusk. Oh. Nice of you to take me at my word on that. Now that EY's out of the picture, I'm shit out of options. Good to know. Sounds like it won't take much to get you to give up. Careful now. I might just be desperate enough to try something. And the kid over there might just be desperate enough to shoot. Bit of wild card, huh? <laughs> oh, those are cops. I thought those were civilians. I was like, damn. I'll be running. Folks are starting to gather. There's no surprise given the scene we're causing. But if Najima's part. But if Najima's packing explosives, he won't need a curse to cause a bloodbath. These idiots need to get out of here, but they won't listen. Why do rubberneckers always have balls of steel? I think rubberneckers are people who snoop, like looky boos. Oh, sorry. Whenever I can do like a full 360, <laughs> it makes me queasy. This is the bridge where you threw that chopped hand, huh? If you want to talk, I'll talk. But first, you gotta put that thing away. I can't think straight with a gun in my face. Not a chance, bozo. Not a chance. If you got something to say, then say it. Your buddy's hands are shaking. If he squeezes the trigger a bit too hard, I'm done for. Makes things more exciting, don't you think? You two have lost your fucking minds. Oh, he'll still yap. Okay. That massacre you told me about on the phone. Did you mean it? Every word. Don't you worry. Soon you'll have the case of a lifetime. Oh, yeah? And how are you gonna pull it off? Like I'm gonna tell you, dumbass. But I'll give you a thing for free. I never had to wait till sundown. I just wanted to make sure you'd really hate me for this. Pretty sure I hate you plenty already. That ain't shit. I need more hatred out of you. More. More more. Needy son of a bitch, aren't you? Oh, I'm not done. Just wait till you see what I've got in store for what you really care about. You should be clicking in your fucking boots. That's not gonna happen. She's got enough to worry about without your sorry ass getting in her hair. <laughs> now that's more like it. There's the face I wanted to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> I'm a man of my word, as you're about to find out. You have the cursed stone for the one-sided reed. Of course I do. Take a look. Oh my god! That's it? Alright. Whoops! Better put it somewhere safe. We don't want something to happen to it. How did you find out about the cursed stones? They don't have anything to do with black magic. Someone else turned you onto them, didn't they? That puffed-up teacher at Aishi couldn't shut up about him. He's desperate for a chance to flaunt his smarts. All he had to do was act impressed. That still doesn't 
That still doesn't explain how you learn so much so fast. Curses of black magic ain't as different as you seem to think. As far as I'm concerned, they're just two ways of harnessing paranormal powers. You sure there's more to it? All that matters is whether that power is the real deal. And this curse is very real, as you well know. Joke's on you, Najima. Don't you know the one side of Reed is a fake dropped in with the rest? I'll give it a rest. I've tested it myself. You use that thing on people. Son of a bitch. When something this special falls in your lap, you gotta take it for a spin. I'm just good at covering my tracks. Good enough not to get caught, at least. Let me guess. You're back at your old tricks. Attacking schoolgirls in the middle of the night. Ah! So you know about that, huh? Oh, so it was him. Oh, yeah, he's the janitor. He was at the school. One of the brats put up a fight. Bought enough time for the other one to get away. So I went ahead and called quits. Sounds like your curse is a real pain to set off. Nah, I had that sorted out way beforehand. But she pulled some kind of spirit bullshit on me. I would have given the little bitch eventually. I would have gotten the little bitch eventually. I just didn't have the time. Way beforehand, huh? Interesting. If you think puzzling on my curse is gonna help, don't bother. Why not? Because you won't be able to do shit about it either way. I'll let you in on a little secret. I could fuck up a good hundred people right now if I wanted to. A few hundred. Yeah, now you're getting it. I could kill any one of them. At any time. Then I guess we got ourselves a situation. You're telling me your curse can kill people you can't even see. Seems a bit unfair. If you can really do that, why'd you even bother showing up in person last night? I wanted to make sure the curse worked, and I figured I need to clean up after. You seriously got your curse locked into several hundred people. That's one hell of a curse on your packing. These things sure ain't made equal. And of course you got the nasty one. Out of all this shitty luck. <laughs> I'm told I pulled a good one. Told? By who? Oh, whoops, I've said too much. <laughs> I knew it. Someone fed you all this info. I don't know what you're talking about. I knew it. Someone fed you all this info. I don't know what you're talking about. What's it been, Najima? 20 years you've been studying black magic. Now you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses? I didn't know you. And now you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses. I didn't know. I didn't have you down for a cheater. And now you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses. I didn't have you down for a cheater. Hey now. Black magic screwed me over first. You can't blame a man for going with the girl who can meet his needs. Screwed you over how? Because your resurrection ritual didn't work? That was the real point of the murders, wasn't it? <laughs> Must have been rough. Putting in all that work for no payoff. Imagine my surprise when I finally found out what you were really after. So now you're trying again with the Rite of Resurrection, taking the chance to spit in my eye while you do it. Tell me, Najima. Who was it that you want to resurrect so damn bad? Who was it you've spent 20 years chasing? It's the mother of that baby, ain't it? You had a partner. And though you never put a ring on her, the two of you had a kid. And then she died. Maybe she got sick. Maybe she got into an accident. But either way, she left you and the kid all alone in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, Najima. It's her you're trying to bring back, isn't it? I've seen for myself just how many folks are pitting their hopes on this Rider Resurrection. And I can tell you this. It ain't natural. And it ain't gonna lead to anything good. So. 
If all you ever needed was someone to help you deal with the pain, then... <laughs> God, you're so fucking stupid! Huh? Is that really what you think? That's hilarious! You don't know a goddamn thing! What? Damn it! For a sec there, I really thought you were gonna talk him down, boss! Listen up, chump. I'll tell you what really happened 20 years ago. What really happened? Wait, is he Simon? You got half of it right. I did have a loving girl back once, sweet as could be. She knows what she went by, though I couldn't tell you if that was her real name. Don't know where she came from either. She traveled, I think. Might have been an angel for all I know. She sure seemed like one to me. Then she got sick. And just like that, she was gone. My guess is that it was the pollution, but I never knew for sure. Couldn't afford a decent doctor. My life after, th My life after that was a living hell. Until I found this grimoire in an old bookstore. A grimoire, huh? It told of a resurrection ritual. Black magic that could bring Shino back. So I was right. Not exactly. See? Who said the ritual didn't work? You said it yourself. Black magic screwed you over. Oh, it screwed me alright. But it worked just fine. What's that supposed to mean? See, the ritual didn't bring the person back as they were when they died. It's more like reincarnation, rebirth, rebirth. Wait, oh no, oh hell no. You mean that baby? Damn right, the resurrection ritual brought Shino back to me as a fucking baby. You've got to be kidding me. You're telling me that wasn't her kid? That was her. In the flesh. The hell I am! That little brat was not my Shino. Her mind was gone. She was totally helpless. She didn't even know who I was. Her warm arms, her gentle voice, gone. Gone! There wasn't a damn thing left in her. What the hell did you expect? She was a baby. If you'd really cared about her, you would have grown some balls and acted like a father. Fuck that. I snatched sacrifices off the street for her, chopped them to pieces for her. And that's what I get? A screaming little bundle of shit and piss. That was my Shino. Give me back her softness. Give me back her warmth. Give her back to me. So you just left the baby to die. I knew you were scum, but you really are the lowest of low. Look me in the eye, and tell me that if your wife turned into a baby, you'd love her just the same. How could I do that when I couldn't even be sure it was really her? Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get that you're human garbage who doesn't care about anyone but himself. So now you're going after the Rite of Resurrection in hopes you'll get luckier this time. Luck doesn't come into it. The Rite really works. <laughs> There's proof. What happens if you get the same results? If your Shino comes back as a baby again? Ugh! Shut up! Don't put that lie in my head! It'll work this time! It has to! Dang! Uh, uh, fuck! <laughs> back to the... T <laughs> okay, so... I still think the baby is the art student. The art student is technically the reincarnation of his former lover. It doesn't matter. I'm through with black magic. Is that why you gave your grimoire to you? Why? I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. Find them. Keep your mouth shut. But I do know one thing. All that about being to use all that about being able to use your curse during the day. It's bullshit. Just a bluff. Oh, is that what you think? 
Your back's to the wall and you still haven't used your curse. If you really could pull the plug at any time, you'd have done it by now. <laughs> now there's the Satsumi I know. Fine, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. If I could have used my curse, I would have. So I did. Huh? There should be a new few. There should be a few new corpses around the city right about now. You should be pounding. You sure you should be pointing guns at me when people are dying across the city? What? When did you? Hey, there you. Get someone to check that out. Just don't take your eyes off Najima. Ah, uh, yeah, I know us. Hey, I need someone over here. Yeah, that's right. You have to earn in that paycheck. Oh my god, the daughter's here! Oh no! Najima's gonna turn around, see the girl, and be like, oh. If you don't see them soon, there'll be plenty more on the way. However, however, will you get out of this mess? The longer you keep me here, the more people die. That's blood on your hands. Bullshit. You're bluffing. Think what you like. You'll see soon enough. Huh? What the? Whoa. Back up. Back up. The hell is she doing here? Crap. Her eyes just met. This is bad. Real bad. Why'd she have to pick now of all times? <sighs> Get out of here, damn it. Get book it before he sees you. I need to ask her about Namigaki. Shit. Boss? What are you doing looking all over the place? Focus! Huh. Damn it. Fuck, he's fast. Ayami, get away! Uh oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ayami Toto. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Huh? What? Dad? Oh, why you <laughs> Ayami, don't you dare, you bastard. Get away from her. Get over here. Get off, you're hurting me! <laughs> Stay right where you are and she dies! Hey, get back here! Make me! See you around, dumb fucks! Oh, whoa! That piece of shit took Ayami hostage and ran off with her! After him! We can't let him get away! Okay, why'd she call him dead? Okay, my theory still runs. She was the baby, right? It's obvious that she was the baby. And then, she, I, I still think she reconnected with him in prison. And... Because she called him dead. They, they know each other. But she doesn't know that she's a reincarnate. She just thinks she's an adopted baby. My goodness, is getting good. Tetsuo Satsumi, 4 p.m. From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has evaded capture at Komagata Bridge and remains at large. He is currently on the run with one female hostage. I gotta say, boss. We really screwed that one up. Yeah. Yeah, we did. It's my fault. All we can do now is hope he doesn't slip the net. We know his identity now, boss. He can't run forever. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the hostage will be all right. I hope so. I can't believe that was your daughter. How crazy is that? Yeah. Wait. What? Ayami is his daughter? Wait, what? Wait, no, I'm confused! What? Wait, what? 
Okay, I missed a few details back, way back, okay. We've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning and she just shows up there? Who would have thought, what a twist of fate. Yeah, a bit too twisted of a twist for my liking. I think you need a breather, boss. You're not making sense. Does this mean she was the one in the car with Namagaki? No, we don't know that yet. Let's see what she has to say before we jump to any conclusions. Oh, okay, so that's why he freaked out initially when Namagaki was like, Oh yeah, it was this girl in the car. I didn't realize it was her, his kid. Dang, throw my theories out the window. You sound tired, boss. That standoff must have really done a number on you. Come on, let's treat ourselves to some Mitsuhame. That'll put a spring in your step. Yeah, that sounds good. Some sugar might be just what I need to get my brain working. Whoa, hold on, boss. Sounds like Patrol's just got a message. I'll go check it out. Sure thing. Please be good news. Please be good news. Good news, boss. They found the Jima. No shit. What about the hostage? I don't know. They just said to come quick. Uh-oh. Oh. Did she have a curse stone? Damn it. Guess we'll find out when we get there. At 4.28 p.m., Fumichika Nijima, also known as Makoto Ashimiya, was discovered at the former Yasuda Gardens, beaten to death. The body suffered 110 distinct instances of blunt force trauma. The case is being treated as a homicide. The deceased possessions have not been recovered and appear to have been taken post-mortem. The location of the deceased female hostage remains unclear. Police continue to pursue her as person of interest. She's not dead though, she got away. It said deceased female hostage. Okay, well, I'm still surprised that the art student was his daughter. That did not click for me. I thought she was just a rando. So we still don't know who the baby is. I want to check back here and see if the spirit wisp is back. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Oh, it reset everything, really? Yeah, it reset everything! Oh, that's stupid. We'll come back here when I get stuck stuck. Okay. Now let's try this secret chapter. Darkness. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The thumbnail looks like a chain link fence prison. Time unknown. Huh. My head. What? What's happening? Huh. 
Did I hit my head? It's killing me. My vision is blurry. Is that the ceiling? I feel the cold floor against my back. I must have fallen or something. I can't get up. I need my life alert. My body won't move. Why? And why am I on the floor in the first place? No. Hold on. More importantly, who am I? Erm, um, what? Am I the baby? <laughs> I'm just gonna theorize that everybody's the baby. Okay, think. Think. Should I remember something? Anything? Huh. No, it's it's not the girl. It's not the angsty teenage girl. Uh huh. It feels like my head is about to split apart. Huh. What was that? That man's face. I think I've seen it before. Think. I'm sure I know it. I'm looking at my files. I'm cheating. It was Hajime. Yeah. Okay, I remember it was Hajime. I didn't remember his last name. Uh, two, four, six characters. Two, four, six, seven. Let's call him Hajime. Hajime is my favorite character from Haiku. Hajime. Hajime Yoshimi. That's it! I know that name! The dark mist obscuring my memories is slowing starting to clear. Oh, my head is hurting again. What was that? A memory of mine? Hajime and I... I think we were close. But the first thing I saw was... He was dead. Did I? Just what kind of person am I? Maybe this is the fiancé. Because they haven't heard from the fiancé in a few days as well. Maybe the fiancé was the baby. Ooh, I'm up. I can move again, and I think my head is starting to clear. It looks like I'm in some kind of warehouse. Maybe I can find some clues as to what happened. I should take a look around. You can press suspend at any point in this chapter and start again from the same point when you select resume. If you get stuck, try playing a different route before returning to this one. Yo. Who took me? This has gotta be the fiance. Someone copped me. Who switchboard? A switchboard. Looking inside, it seems that this room has electricity at least. Does that mean someone is using this place for something? Turn the lights on! Dumbass bitch. A bunch of messily stacked cardboard boxes. I took a peek inside, but it's too dark to see much. I'll need more light. Turn the lights on! Ah, oh, she's so stupid. There's an air duct on the ceiling. Could this place have been a factory at some point? Wish I could crawl through it to escape. But I don't see any way to get it. Wish I could crawl through to it. Wish I could crawl through it to escape. But I don't see any way to get into it from here. 
Am I in the soap factory? A big shelf. The kind you always see in warehouses and stuff. Wish I could find some tools or something, but no such luck. Hmm, what's this? The label's been torn off, but this must be soap. There's quite a bit left inside. I'm taking it. I might be able to use this. Might as well keep it on me. Soap acquired. I'm in the soap factory! Okay, okay, okay. Theory. My game theory. This is the fiancé POV. Turns out the fiancé is the resurrected baby. And then the owner of the soap factory heard about me, so she kidnapped me. And then... I don't know, that's all I got. A cabinet straight out of an office. Let's see what happens if I slide this open. Looks like there's nothing inside. Classic. Top drawer. Doesn't look like there's anything in the top drawer. Dang it. There's some kind of note in the middle drawer. Eggline benzene, benzeconium chloride, sulfonic acid, sodium hydroxide. Names of chemicals? Maybe this is some kind of chemical plant. It's a soap factory! Nothing in the bottom drawer. Oh wait, there's something stuck way in the back. Oh, I thought that was a cursed stone. It looks like there's some kind of sticker stuck back there, but it's too dark to tell what it is. No, I, want, I need light. I want the sticker. A typical office desk. There's all kinds of stationery on it. Is there anything that looks usable? There's this pen, but I don't really need it. I'll leave it here for now. There's this huge gap in the wall. A folding chair, all alone in the middle of the room. Gives me the creeps for some reason. They must have had me sat on it earlier. I probably passed out and fell on the floor. Some storage lockers. There's a bucket and a mop in the left locker. Guess that's where they keep their cleaning stuff. There's nothing inside, but there's a piece of paper stuck to the front. Chemical flammable liquid ventilation. If leaked, equipment integrity thoroughly. That's quite the collection of words. What could this place be used for? There's a bunch of garbage in the corners. My guess is that this room isn't used very often, if at all. I can't just wait here for someone to come out to my rescue. I need to look for a way out. I hate how there's just like this goo from the ceiling. There is a little sink here. It's pretty dirty. Hope I don't have to use it. There's water dripping from the faucet, but the knobs are stuck. I can't move them in either direction. I can look in the mirror. There's a key to the sink. Huh. If I can use it to see what I look like, it might help me remember who I am. Oh, no good. This mirror is completely unusable with all the grime that's built up on it. I wonder if I could clean it somehow. What the soap? Oh, I can use this soap to clean off that grime. I should have known that just by putting soap in the mirror wouldn't do anything. <laughs> I need something to wipe it with. Come on. That's so mean. <sighs> hmm. 
Bruh. It won't open. Maybe it's locked from the outside. So I really am locked in here. I don't know what's going on, but I doubt I can afford to take my time here. Cloth. I need cloth. Can you just use your hands? Use your nails. There was a pen on the desk. Nothing in the cabinet. light. Okay, it said you got the key to the sink. Looks like I definitely won't be using it. Oh, I can't be stone locked already. Nothing in the ceiling. right now is that my memories are hazy and that someone's locked me up in here. I should look around to see if I can find any clues about who I am. I'm checking everything again. A mop? Oh, I might be able to use these cleaning supplies. I can fill the bucket with soap and use the mop to clear away most of the grime. Soapy mop acquired. Now let's get a look. look now let's get a good look at me. There's the soapy mop. I should be able to clean the mirror with this. Whoa. Kalina one swipe. The soap is pretty good. I'll have to remember the brand. It's Kihako. Yo! So, this is what I look like. Right, yeah. This is me. I know this face. But something doesn't feel right. Something's missing. Oh, my name. I can't remember my name. I need to figure out what my name is. I know what I look like. Next, I have to remember my name. If there was a woman with this face in my memories, come on. I need my name. I'm checking my- I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Okay, it's not- Okay, we gotta look at eye shape. I still think this could be the fiancé, or... It could be... The high schooler. But her hair is cut short. Wait, why is she in here? <laughs> Mayu Chozawa. Occupation, beautician. Mayu is a beautician and the fiancé of Hajime Yoshimi, a police officer with the Sumida Police Department. Mayu's, Mayu's current whereabouts remain unknown. 
I was right. This is the fiance. Dude, I'm so good. Mayu. I'm a de I should be a detective, huh? Mayu. Mayu. Mayu Chozawa. Yes. That's definitely it. My name is Mayu Chozawa. Mysterious woman. Mayu Chozawa. My name is Mayu Chozawa. That man I saw in my memories, Hajime Yoshimi, is my fiancé. Wait. If what I saw was from my past, then Hajime is... No. Hajime can never be killed so easily. There must be some kind of mistake. Knowing him, he's probably worked himself into a frenzy looking for me. I have to get out of here and let him know that I'm okay. Um, what do I do now? Um, give, give me the pen. I misclicked. Oh, I'll just take the pin. Nothing else seems useful to them from the cleaning supplies. Music sounds different now. It looks brighter almost. Have I seen the light? see I'm not hurt. I just look like crap. So why was I brought here? I'll check the trash and if I can't do anything else I'll continue on. I'll dig- oh lights! Huh. It looks like the light on the ceiling is on. But it's still so dark. Oh, there's dirt all over the bulb. Time for that mop to make another appearance. Okay, I knew it was lighter in here. I knew it. There, it's a little brighter now. I should have an easier time searching now. I just hope I can actually find something. Manga cut. A, mon a manga magazine called Weekly Shonen Scorpion. I think Hajime used to read this, even at his age. He liked the series about delinquents. No, not the time to get caught up in reminiscing. Ooh, a sticker! <gasps> no, don't pick it up! Huh? There's something on the floor here. No, I picked it up! God damn it. Was this here all along? I had no idea. A lantern carved out of wood? It's kind of creepy. Something about this feels different than all the other abandoned junk in here. Hearthstone acquired the beckoning light. Oh wait, but we were on the bridge. Huh. What is this? Such terrible regret. A resentful memory is flowing into my mind. The evil ones, the curse bearers, kill them all by their own bane. You have acquired the power of the curse stone and the beckoning light. You can use it to kill curse bearers using their own curses. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Press the use curse button when you wish to kill your target. 
Oh. A mysterious impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar. If we're going with the theory that the soap factory is trying to collect all the curse stones and get all the soul drags, then I still think they kidnapped her, put her in a room with a stone, and then just let her at it. Like, let her do the dirty work, let her kill other people. You know who else will make a killing? Twitch. Because guys, I need subs. Because we are two hours in a stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ads reviewing all month long. Or you can link us a Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. Also, if um you're watching and you're lurking and you aren't following, um click the button. It's free. Do it now. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, I'm going to verify that the audio is still synced. Which copy pastas did I block? No, which one? <laughs> I don't think I blocked any of the copy pastas. It could be character limit. Oh wait, you mean the don't subscribe? That one? I tried to send one. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, banned. You know why? Because it has the word ban in it. That's why. Because I, I think I have the term ban me blocked. Yeah, I have the term ban me blocked. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm like, I don't want people to type your banned in reference to me. That's why. There you go. Have fun. Oh, you just removed the band part. Wait, I told you how to skirt the auto mod. Uh oh. I forgot I had that word band. Imagine. Okay. Back to it. Huh. I remember now. I remember everything. I know why I was brought here. That's right. Earlier. Huh. Uh, I, I feel sick. Where am I? Yes, that is correct. We finally have a confession. Someone's talking. On the phone? Yes. Yes. Quite stubborn. We had to use the maximum dose of truth serum. Truth serum? Did they drug me with something? There's someone behind me. Can I get a look at them? No, I don't want to. No. Ah, uh, damn. My body won't move. Shoot. Oh, oh you are awake. Huh. Your head must be beginning to clear right about now. You? Takumi? Shit, you tricked me! Such a harsh accusation. It was you who was being uncooperative. What did you do to me? What was that about a truth serum? I assure you, you have nothing to worry about. You are in no danger. Oh, they're gonna make me confess to killing Hajime to cover up the killings. That being said... There may be side effects. Memory loss. Brain fog. It was you. You were the one who hurt Hajime. Try your want. I'm not telling you shit. No matter. I already have everything I need. What? I'm... I'm in the middle of a call with the chairwoman. 
Why don't you have a rest while you wait? Hey, stop! Get away from me! I'm so conscious, if only barely. Concentrate! Focus on Takumi! I need all the information I can glean from his conversation. Correct? She does not seem to know where the is hidden. Ajimi Oshimi was the same? Yes. It was unexpected, but... No. He really did do something to Hajime. No, wake up! I'm fading! Shake your head to stay awake. I'm shaking! This is so hard. <laughs> Just moving the cursor. No one's fading. No. Okay, it's not tail controls. Oh wait, this is faster. I have to keep listening. From Araishi? Yes. Exactly as planned. As for you, I expect. Yes. As soon as possible. Yes, the curse will likely... Tomorrow, according to Araishi. No, I'm fading! Just a little more. Why don't they, like, just knock me out, get a baseball bat, right? Yes? As long as you keep her in here, the curse will. Yes? She will certainly want to bring back her dead fiancé. Is he talking about me? Together. Anything I can learn. Yes? I will be leaving her here. I'll take the telephone with me. Oh, yes? That is in the cabinet. It could pose no problem. Yes, I've changed the lock. The year the company's founder. Can't hold on any longer. Cabinet lock year founding. That's right. I remember now. That man is Takumi Yomioka of Hau That man is Takumi Yomioka of Hiyaku Soaps. He showed up at my hair salon about a month ago. He came to ask me to try out a new shampoo they'd made. We spoke about it again a few weeks later, but... He drugged me. He suddenly started asking me about my fiancé. I remember thinking that was pretty weird. Kihaku was a large company, so I tried to be polite and answered all his questions. He wanted to know what kind of family Hajime came from. If there was anything special about them, or if he was an heir to anything. 
thought it was so strange. I didn't give him any specifics. And then, that night, he never came to the place we agreed to meet. So I went to where he said he'd be going, the former Yasuda Gardens. That's where I found his dead body. I was so distraught, I just ran away. I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. After that, I decided to put all my hopes in that ride of resurrection everyone was talking about. No! Everybody's a sucker. I searched desperately for anything I could find about the seven mysteries of Honjo. And then... Takumi showed up again. He told me that he knew something about how Hajime died. I thought I would just act interested in what he had to say, but I fell for it completely. Next thing I knew, I was locked up in this room. Pumped full of drugs and left here on the floor, barely even conscious. I spent the night dreaming of him, praying for a chance at the Rite of Resurrection. And at midnight last night, I got the curse of the beckoning light. Between the drugs and the curse, I passed out. That must be why I lost my memory. But now, I remember everything. It was Hiyaku. They went after Hajime. They put me in here. But why did they have to kill him? Was that Hiyaku's doing too? What could they have wanted with him? I knew his job was dangerous, but why would a company like that go after an officer in the juvenile division? Oh, I get it now. All that about the shampoo is just to get to Hajime. Huh. Hajime. You were always the kind of guy who would shoulder any burden with a smile on your face. What burden were you carrying this time? To be targeted by a company that's more than willing to kidnap and drug people. Was it something you couldn't even tell me? No. Takumi said he had gotten some kind of information out of me using the drug. Could I have had Hajime's secrets somewhere in my memories? If I did, what could it have been? Did Hajime tell me something? Ah. Whatever it is, just let me say one thing. Fuck you, Hiyaku! I'm not about to let any of this go the way you want. Yeah, that's right. It's up to me to protect any secret that Hajime was trying to hide. I'll finish whatever it is he didn't get a chance to. After all, it's always been up to me to clean up your messes. It's okay. Whatever you got yourself involved in, I'm sure you had good reason. We're gonna take them all for all the- We're gonna take them all for- We're gonna take- Take them for all- We're gonna take them for all they got. Just you wait and see. Alright. It's about time to get out of this dump. Dang it, I picked up that stupid little curse. What well, in tarnation? How about I take that pain? Oh, just take it! Magazine. A weekly magazine. It's a fairly recent issue. The cover story is an interview with the chairwoman of Hiyaku Soaps. I'm not interested. I KNEW THERE WAS A LOCK ON THE CABINET! Huh? This last drawer. It's different from the others. There's a padlock with a four-digit combination. Oh yeah, Takumi said something about this. He said he put something in here and locked it. So there's probably something in here. Should I try my luck with the lock? Yes. Okay, the first number from the left. Um... Um, uh, files. Culture and society. Hiyaku Soaps! Really? Oh, it doesn't say the name. Okay, it might say the year, 
that it was founded in the magazine. That she said, I'm not interested. So I'm going to double check the magazine if I can't find it. Persons of interest. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the soap owner. Onatsui Yamamori. Onatsui. Oh, she's the former president of the company. Not here. It was on the Gyo Street, South Warigishui Street. Okay, the park opened in 1950. Okay, I'm gonna look through all the locations and see if one of them has a year. And then maybe if it says the park was made or this place is made the same year as a factory. Because it, it seems like her factory is fairly new based on the bio of the old lady. This might take a hot minute. Oh my god! Okay. Right here. 1946. Uh, why didn't you find this earlier? Am I dumb? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this wasn't like this earlier when I clicked on those soaps. was established suddenly appear in my mind okay don't question it it's a game I had no idea when it might have been but did I really get that lucky now that I think about it there's definitely something different in the air here is this another side effect of the drug or something else 
Well, it doesn't matter right now. I should see what's in here. What is this thing? Well, I guess I might as well pull it out. And... It sort of looks like a phone, but there's no receiver. <gasps> it's the fax machine! And the rich lady is a fax machine. We'll fax her. Oh, I know. This is a fax machine. I've seen commercials for these on TV. If I remember correctly, it's used to send copies of documents to other people who have one. But in age we live over here, we can send letters and things without going through the mailman. This means I can call for help without using a telephone. I've never used one before, but if I can connect it to the power in the phone line... Alright, we've got power. Now I just need to figure out who I can send it to. What else do I need? I found a bunch of paper in the cabinet. I'll need a pen to write with. I don't need a phone number for a fax machine to send this to. Hmm. What am I going to do about that? I know what we're going to do. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. We're going to get our pen. We're going to write our ransom letter. I mean, a letter for help. All right. I've got a pen. Now I can write a message. Though, I better check that it actually works. I need a pen and a phone number for a fax machine. Okay, we're suspending for now. We're gonna go here. Oh wait, earlier did I click restart? <laughs> Okay, it's fine. We're gonna go to my house, figure out what my phone number is, write it down. Shigiba Mansion reception room. And I got a fax machine right there. Is that why it loads to that B-roll at the very start? Dude, I'm so smart. Fax machine. The fax machine. It can send images to other places along the telephone network. The fax machine. The number for a home is 63 asterisk. Ma'am, is everything okay? I'm fine. There's just something I wanted to check. Is that so? Okay, 63 da da da. I need a pen and a phone number for a fax machine. Wait, I have a number though. Items. Pen. An oil-based pen. The pen tip is totally dry. I won't be able to write anything with this. I wonder if I can fix it somehow. It can be fixed with nail polish remover. Huh? You can fix this with nail polish remover. What? Why did that pop into my head all of a sudden? Well, might as well give it a try. If this isn't one of Hiyaku's warehouses, there just might be some nail polish remover somewhere. Okay, that's why I can't write a note, because the pen's dead. That's kind of dumb. There's plenty of soap on these shelves, but no nail polish remover. What was in these cardboard boxes again? Ah, disposed bottles and soap. I wonder if there could be. There it is! Nail polish remover. There's no label, but I'm sure that's what this is. Nail polish remover acquired. Alright, so if I use this... Nail polish remover. Kiyaku's soap's loco is on it. Use on the pen. The tip of the pen has been soaked in nail polish remover. I should be able to use the pen now, at least for a while. Fax machine. 
The number is 6-3. It happened again. The number for a fax machine just popped into my head. No! Oh, is that why the old lady saw my wisp? There's no way all this information is coming from my own brain. Could someone be sending me their thoughts? Never mind. I have to focus. Let's get this message sent. Now. I need to tell them where I am. If I tell them everything I know about this place, they should be able to figure out where it is. First, I know I'm in a building owned by Hihaku. A factory or a warehouse. As for the address, it should be close to... If I'm being held at the factory, it should be near the street. South Warigesui Street. No, that's not right. No! Think. What was it that I received here? Oh, the curse? It's the bridge. Oh my god, I'm in the abandoned factory! That's right. My curse echo is the beckoning light. That means this place must be near Hoonji Bridge. Okay, time to send it. Um, I think this is how you do it? Alright. If the machine I sent to is connected, it should be sent. Now, I wait. Please, somebody. I'm in. I like this going back and forth. This actually makes sense going back and forth. Okay, we're at home. And it's gonna go bing, 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 bing. Dun, dun. <laughs> Oh, the phones. Be my guest. You wouldn't want to keep them waiting. Thank you. I shouldn't be long. Hello? Shigima residence? Oh, it wasn't the phone. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It was just the fax machine. I'm still not quite used to it. Oh, this is a fax machine. Amazing. So this is how they look. This is incredible. Ha! <laughs> Goodbye to snail mail. Am I right? This is the future. I didn't think it would excite you this much. Oh, something came out. Is it finished? I can watch this thing all day. Huh? What is this? It looks like it was written in pen, but... What's it say? What's it say? Um, it says, help, I'm trapped in a Hihaku Soap's warehouse or factory near Hoonji Bridge. Huh? Hihaku? Why would someone send me such a message? Am I being pranked? No, this is too fishy to be a coincidence. I wouldn't pass Hihaku to have someone looked up if it's got anything to do with pursuing the right. Pr procuring the right. We should check it out. Hopefully we don't find anything so sinister. Oh, that's why we saw the wisp earlier, because she's in the warehouse. Hoonji Bridge. After looking around, I determined the abandoned factory is indeed Hihaku's. An abandoned factory near the Hoonji Bridge. Everything lines up. So the person who faxed us for help isn't there. Let's find out. If there's nothing, we should wrap up fast. Um, but isn't this place locked? Don't underestimate me, man. Don't underestimate me. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate me, ma'am. I can make short work of a simple little lock like this. Oh my. You truly are something else. Please be careful, then. I'm in. 
flipping? Come on. Oh, wait. They're going to show up here. Never mind. I got it. Will someone come and save me? No, please! No, come on. Save me. Did the facts work? I can only hope the person who gets it will come help me. I guess it doesn't trigger yet. Dang. Oh wait, am I stun locked? Wait. Yeah, they got still knocked here because they couldn't talk to the chairwoman of factory. I'll go back here. There's probably something else I haven't clicked on. Mayu, this isn't the time to start feeling sorry for yourself. Just watch. I'm gonna get out of here in no time. Okay, where are they? I'll break the door open. Yeah, I genuinely don't think there's anything else I can do here. I'll think. Use my little brain. I just remembered that I heard the rules for the Rite of Resurrection when I got this curse stone. But killing other people to bring someone back? That's out of the question. Why'd you we would never accept sacrificing another person and come back himself? None of this was ever an option to begin with. The way we lived? Oh. Ever since we were kids, we were always ready to die if that's what it came to. We never take a foot off the gas just because we were scared of death. We were never such big fans of living anyways. Whoa, metal. That's why we were always prepared for it. I used to wonder if we took things a little too lightly. But that's just how much we trusted each other. So I have no use for some shitty right. And that's the truth, Hajime. No, let me out of here! Cursed Stone. The Cursed Stone of the Beckoning Light. I, it doesn't have any soul dregs in it. No matter what, using this curse would be wrong. I'm not even thinking about using it. Dang it. Though... I think there was one part of this room that I never searched. What? She's lying.
My dear one. The magazine? Okay, not the magazine. Nothing in the bottom drawer. There's something stuck. Now I can see the sticker. There's some kind of sticker in there. It looks like a delinquent penguin. Wait, is this? This is that thing. Another flashback. Hajime, thanks for waiting. Oh, what's wrong? You're wasting that handsome face of yours looking like that. Yoshimi. Hmm. You think? I think I'm still pretty handsome. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Are you not meeting with that girl today? He told me, I mean. No. She's off doing who knows what. That's too bad. I just found a hair cut catalog. That's too bad. I just found a hair catalog I thought would be perfect for her. Seems like you're pretty worried about her. Yeah. She reminds me of myself at that age. I can't help but worry. You think? I say she's a little ball of sunshine compared to what you were like. Shut up. I'm talking emotionally. She needs an adult who can understand how she feels. She's like a kitten. She thinks everyone around her is out to get her, so she bites at them all. Hmm. You might be right. So tell her I wanted to see her, will ya? Sure, I'll do that, but... This other girl I ran into the other day is a tough case. Oh, she must be really something else, if you don't know how to deal with her. No, it's not really that kind of thing. Some people just have so much misfortune thrown at them. What do you mean by that? Well, I can't really get into details. But she might have the talisman I've been looking for. Said it was a memento from her father. Would we really be related? But it's not like I can just take it from her. What are you mumbling about? Who's related to who? Ah, oh, sorry. It's nothing. It's about that thing with your family, isn't it? Is she the one who... Is she the one who has the piece of the book that your ancestor left behind? Mayu, how do you know that? God, I forget how dense you are sometimes. How long have we been dating now? Besides, you were the one who came crying to me about it when you got wasted that one time. Rambling, rambling about how this old book you're supposed to inherit is hidden in these two talismans? And that something was giving you a bad feeling about it and you need to be careful. Oh, right. That's all I know, though. And I wasn't planning to try and pry any further. But if it's something important you need to protect, then what are you waffling about? Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Mayu. I feel better now. Oh, that's right. Did you hear? The Mockingbirds were seen in Honjo. Huh? That came out of nowhere. Mocking... what now? It's an urban legend about these bird stickers that show up out of nowhere. I was always kind of curious about them, but I never thought they'd be in Honjo. There might be a bunch showing up all over town, so we gotta keep an eye out. You feeling alright? What's gotten into you? What's so special about these birds? Come on. One of them is a penguin with a pompadour. You can't tell me that isn't the greatest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> That's so dumb. That's right. He was trying to protect something left to him. Could that be the information that Hiyaku wanted? Mockingbird number three discovered. Okay, that has to be the last thing, I think. I think I've done all that I can do. All that's left now is to wait. No. End? 
says end now. Oh my god. Let's do this. Let's do this. Having regained control of herself, Yako rejoins Mio on their search for the record of Fate's Yun Scroll so that they can stop the curse. However, they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow. So, last we left off, we got still looked at the factory. Because we couldn't get in. Now we can get in. I think I got this sticker already. Yeah. Oh, I have to do this all again? Come on. Yeah, let's just go in. If Hiyaku is no good, I don't know if we have any other options. I huh? Hmm, what is it? That person coming this way. Oh no! What? That tall guy? Do you know him? Yeah, from a little while back. Mr. Humioka, over here! Wait, she knows him. Hmm? Oh. You're Kamiyota's manager, Mr. Yomioka, yes? Good to see you again. Miss Kurosuzo. What a coincidence running into you here. Gamyoto? Yumioka? How have things been since we last met? If she just stays with her training, she won't have to rely on cheating on people. If she just stays with her training, she won't have to rely on cheating people anymore. Yes. She has been keeping at it. Cheating people? Miss Kurosuzo, so glad to see you doing well. Are you sure you've had no issues you need to concern yourself with? Huh. You gotta tell me what happened. A case from a while back, a family overseeing a reliquary came to see us. Wait. A case from a while back. A family overseeing a reliquary came to us saying they were being investigated by someone suspicious. Investigated? A psychic named Suigen Gamyoto suddenly showed up. She said that she had a phenomenon that something terrible- A pre phenomenon. Premonition. She said that she had a premonition that something terrible would happen and had to exercise the temple immediately. Sounds like cover for a burglary. After they notified the police, I was dispatched through... After they notified the police, I was dispatched there by Paranormal Affairs. I inspected the place myself, but I didn't see anything wrong, so I sent them away. He acted as Gamyoto's manager during the case. That is pretty suspicious. Apparently she was looking for something there, but I told her that's no excuse for fraud and sent her off with a scolding. And honestly... Gamiero didn't even have much spirit sense to speak of, which soured my mood on the whole thing. Right, so she was one of those types then. Well, she's involved in all kinds of stuff, so she may at least be knowledgeable about paranormal objects. Hmm. This guy's a con man. But essentially, she's one of those fraudulent psychics that are common nowadays. If you have no further business with me, then I'll be on my- Oh, before you go, Gimiro seemed to know a lot about paranormal objects. It would be a huge help if we could ask her about something. And what might that be? Is she familiar with an ancient text called the Record of Fates Yen Scroll? Or anything about the descendants of an omiyoji named Simon Tsuchi Mikado? I beg your pardon. Miss Kurosuzo, how do you... So you do know about it. I see. If that's what you're after, then that means... 
Hold it! Don't tell me you're trying to snatch up some innocent schoolgirls this time! Stop right there! Huh? Yo! If it isn't Yomioka, what a pleasure to see you again. What? Mayo Chozoa. What are you doing here? Huh? Chozoa? This investigator here helped me out. He really did a number on me. What do you know? We just so happen to have some business with Ieoku ourselves. Why don't you join us? You can do that much for you can do that much for us, can't you? You work for Hiaku after all. Depending on how this conversation goes, I won't have to get the police involved. Huh? You work for Hiaku? What's going on? We got him. There's really no way you can refuse, though, is there? You two young ladies must be involved as well. Would you care to join us? Oh, um, sure. It's just level after level. So much. <laughs> Why are we at the park? <laughs> Quite the view, isn't it? How long can you play dumb with this many people lined up and wanting answers from you? You better just give it and come clean with everything you know. Um. This is still Yako's POV. <laughs> There's so many. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> Speak up, bozo. I'll cut to the chase then. Are you the ones who killed Hajime Yoshimi? No, we did not. Don't try and play dumb now. If not you, then who? That much I don't know. While it is true that we were after the information he possessed, he was killed by someone else before we could acquire it. Which forced us to target you instead, Miss Chozuma. <laughs> and that's why you forced me to talk and why I ended up with this curse, huh? Indeed. Though I never thought you would escape. Well, it took a couple of miracles, but yeah, I got out. And just what information did Hajime have that you wanted? Hmm. You really think you can get away with answering now? Without answering now? But... Fine. I'll let someone else ask you something for now. Now then... I've come to hand over the haunting clapper's curse stone like I promised. A curse stone? Thank you. I have to admit I'm surprised that you are a man of your word. But first, I got some questions about the curse stones you already have. What exactly do you want to know? Earlier you said that Hyoku had collected six curse stones already. Six? I'd like to confirm which of the seven mysteries they correspond to. And why do you need to know that? Because I don't trust, of course. If you really collected them like you say, you'd have no problem saying which curse stones they are, right? First, the Whispering Canal. Good, good, and what else? My old Chozo over there has the beckoning light. Yep, you were the one who made sure I got it. What? Unfortunately for you, I don't feel like handing it over. So I don't think it counts as one of yours. Good to know. Anyway, do continue. Next, there's the ever-burning lantern, which we gave to Hideki Yareishi. So you consider that one of Hiyaku's, then? Whatever, we'll worry about that later. That's three. What about the others? Well, the others are... Ah, huh, the foot-washing mansion and the evergreen beach. What? And lastly, the fool's procession, if I recall. So you claim? How about it, mademoiselle? That's wrong. Those three are with Inspector Sutsumi. I gave the fool's procession to him myself, so I know he's wrong. There you have it. Too bad for you, pal. Hmm. If our agreement was founded on lies, then I have no duty to hand over my curse stone like I promised. 
meaning the only cursed stone you have is the Whispering Canal. And it inevitably follows that you used it to kill that young man at Kinshiwari Park. Such a horrible act. And to your own employee, no less. No. There you are mistaken. To be entirely frank with you, we do not possess a single curse stone. What? We plan to collect soul drags using any method available to us, of course, as we needed the right. But committing murder ourselves was too much a risk. We intended on having others collect the soul dregs for us. Is that so? Therefore, I myself have no soul dregs in my possession. It was our plan to arrange for particularly greedy individuals to receive the curses. What? It is possible Shogo Ikea came to possess the Whispering Canal because of that. By the time, by the, but by the time I became aware of this, he was already dead. I don't believe you. Are you really trying to talk your way out of this now? Or do you really want me to believe a Hiyaku employee was cursed by complete coincidence? That is the truth, whether you believe me or not. That one actually is the truth, because Ikea was only on a date, and then he just happened to run into this guy. It must have been someone else entirely who took Shigo Ikea's stone and killed him. I have no idea whoever whose hands the Whispering Canal is I have no idea whatsoever whose hand the Whispering Canal is in now, nor where it may be. Oh, could it really be? Then it wasn't Hiyaku who put the Dian Fumicha in Najima's head to get a cursed stone either. Najima? They were the ones who negotiated with our Najima? The only ones we've negotiated with are Iwai and Araishi. Interesting. Excuse me, but does that mean you don't know the location of the remaining curl stones either? There's one that hasn't been mentioned. What about the typo of Sugaru? Oh, good question. My mysterious mademoiselle. I'm afraid we have no information in that regard either. Have you heard enough about curse stones? I have nothing else to tell you. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Investigator. What is it, mademoiselle? Would you be willing to give up the curse stone you have? Ah, yes. You have a point. They're too dangerous to carelessly walk around with... Ah, yes, you have a point. They're too dangerous to carelessly walk around with in one's pocket. However, sorry to disappoint you. That's not possible at the moment. And why is that? Ah, you don't know, do you? Then I'll tell both of you and our friend from Hiyaku over there. Hmm? I doubt any of you have attempted it yet. But it seems the cursed stones cannot be given to normal people. Huh? What? I actually tested it with the Medam here earlier. Even if you give the cursed stone to someone else, the cursed bear doesn't change, and the cursed eventually makes its way back to the bear. It's almost obvious when you think about it, seeing as how the cursed stones appear to the cursed bearers of their own ac accord to begin with. But Inspector Tsutsumi has collected cursed stones from other cursed bearers. Then Inspector Tsutsumi must be a curse bearer himself. Oh. So from what you're saying, curse stones only be So from what you're saying, curse stones can only be transferred between curse bearers. And obtaining a curse stone a tone. And obtaining a <laughs> And obtaining a curse stone alone doesn't make someone a curse bearer, so they can't use its curse. Exactly. So they aren't quite as dangerous as you think. As for Hiyaku's intention of just collecting the curse stones for themselves, unfortunately for them, it was never going to work, unless there's a curse bearer among them. Hmm. That damn Araishi. How could he not know this? That must be why I sensed that I couldn't take Yaku's curse stone. I returned it right away when I borrowed it from her earlier. That's precisely how it works. My mysterious mademoiselle. I'll give mine directly to the Inspector Sutsumi later. If you know Inspector Sutsumi, then I think that's best. Thank you. Excuse me. 
I had no idea that guy. Excuse me. I had no idea that Gum Yodo was connected with Hiyaku. So I'd just like to ask. Was it Miss Yamamori from Hiyaku who obtained the Record of Fates and passed it on to Araishi? No, that was not the case. Oh, my mistake. Was it Sweet and Gum Yodo's doing then? No, it was not. He first learned of the Record of Fates from Mr. Araishi. It was then that Miss Yamamori gained an interest and extended a contract to compensate him in return for his research and findings. Then who was it that activated the Feast of Shadows to call forth the Curse of the Seven Mysteries? I give you my word that we had no part in that. We learned from Araishi beforehand that something would happen at midnight last night. That is all. Hey, there's no way that's true. Stop lying. Oh, I must ask that you please... Huh. I must ask that you please refrain from violence. Hold on, Yako. It's alright. The minute I learned that Gamyodo was none other than the Queen of Hihaku herself, I felt that was the case. She doesn't have strong enough spirit sense for it. Oh, gotcha. Hmm. Well, it is somewhat shameful if you require proof, then so be it. What? So that talk of supernatural powers was just hot air. I don't think she has zero spirit sense, but even Yako has more than her. I do? Also, the spear power lingering in this park has been bothering me for quite some time. The person who died here must have had considerably powerful spirit sense. If they were a Hiyaku employee, then maybe they could have been the one running things. My, to think Shogo Ike was so talented. At any rate, Hiyaku wasn't the mastermind behind exposing the Record of Fates to the world and initiating the Rite of Shadows. I think we can be sure about that. Hmm. Alright. But you know what I can be sure of? An ad break. Because guys, we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for you some ads. You can avoid the number by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Keep your coffee and get ad for viewing all belong. Or you can link your as a private to which an hashtag self for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, we have five new emotes. Isn't that, like, wicked and cool? Look at that! Wow! Guys, click subscribe, do it now. I'm going to choose gone. I want to see where this goes. Who's behind it all? It can't be the murderer. Like, it can't. <laughs> and you know about the Record of Fates Yin Scroll, too, don't you? If you were researching the Rite of Resurrection in the Record of Fates, then you must have looked into the Yin Scroll as well. That's right. The Record of Fates alone wasn't enough to learn how to collect soul drags. I'm sure you looked into many things on your own, but how much do you actually know? Who and where Simon Tsuchimia Kokos? <laughs> God damn it. Who and where Simon Tsuchimi... Tsuchimikaro. 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 Who and where is Simon Suchi Mikoro's descendants are? Were you able to find that sort of information with Gamiyoto's connections? Hmm. I can't reveal that. Then would you... Then would you prefer I expose to the public how Gamiyoto is a fraud with as... Absolute almost. Then would you prefer I expose to the public how Gamiyoto is a fraud with almost zero spirit sense? Hmm. Fine. I understand. From the results of our independent research, I found that Simon Tsuchi Mikado's descendant was Hajime Yoshimi. What? So that's why he went up to Hajime. However, Hajime Yoshimi was only carrying a fragment of the whole. A fragment? 
That's right. He did say something about a fragment of an old manuscript. The location of the end scroll was hidden. This information was split into two and hidden in a pair of talismans, which were then passed down from generation to generation. Oh, talismans! I see. Hajime Yoshimi was supposed to have one. But it was almost certainly stolen when he was killed. It's possible that he knew the location of the other as well. So that's why he questioned me after the things he inherited. The girl Hajime had been helping recently must have had it then. Oh, Machio's talisman. Yes, Machio Shiraishi was also likely a descendant of the Simon Suchi Mikado. What? The talisman she carried as a keepsake from her father. We searched for it based on Miss Chorozawa's memories. However, Michio Shiraishi was already dead. Yes. By coincidence, she happened to be closely connected to Mr. Iwai, so we began our investigation there. But he was already dead too, leaving you in a quadrantry. I see. Mio, if we could get both of the talismans... Yep. We'll know the location of the Record of Fate's Yin Scroll. Wow. Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. Sometimes those answers are the hardest to find. Okay, so then... We know the talisman that was on Hajime's dead body is now with the angsty teen girl. We still don't know who has the one... on the dead girl. Yako. Let's keep quiet about the location of the talismans for now, okay? Alright. No ye- Alright. No need for Yumioka to know. That was a close one. I almost let it slip. We almost leaked. Okay. I think that's all we have to ask him. We'll let you off for today since you went along with our questions nicely. A pleasure working with you. We're done here. But the information you have. The hell are you whining about? I said we're done, so scram. Hm. That's all our business as well, so I shall be bidding you all farewell. Client. Yes, right. Oh, the, the woman. Yes, right. Excuse me, Mr. Investigator. Please don't forget about that curse stone. <laughs> don't you fret. I'll hand it over to Investigator Tsutsumi like I promised. I'm glad I didn't end up hoping to give it to Yumioka. Let's take our leave, madame. With this, we'll be freed from this troublesome... Let's take our leave, madame. With this, we'll be freed from this troublesome curse ourselves. That lady and the Investigator? We should keep an eye on them. Agreed. Really? Why? I think they're up to something. Just my intuition, but still. Yeah. I wonder what that investigator really wanted out of all this. If his goal was getting information about the curse stones, then this might be bad. Alright. Oh, I got one of those curse stones, too. The beckoning light. Alright. If you wouldn't mind, would you give it to Inspector Tsutsumi without using it? Yeah, sure. If he introduced me to the cop, that is. I feel like if I keep carrying it around with me, I'll start getting some weird ideas, too. I just remembered. Mayu, I have something important to tell you. Whoa, what's with... Whoa, what's with all the yelling all of a sudden? You know a girl named Hitomi Okuda, don't you? Really? He told me has Hajime's talisman. Yes. He entrusted it her Yes, he entrusted it to her in a panic just before his death. He sensed an immediate crisis closing in on him, but Itomi was the only one around that he could ask for help. That's so. I'm sorry she got left with such a big responsibility. That must mean that Hajime got killed by someone who was after that talisman. But since he gave it to someone else, they couldn't steal it like they wanted. I'll have to thank Hot. I'll have to thank Hitomi for that. 
Um, I also think it's going to be hard for us to get her to give up that talisman. Yeah, you may be right. It was Hajime's dying request to her. So you two need the talisman for something? Yeah. Hmm. Personally, I'd like to use the talisman as bait. Then I can get my hands on the bastard that killed Hajime. Please. I promise we'll uncover the mastermind behind all this. They probably have supernatural abilities at their disposal. Please, leave them to us. Yeah, we'll catch them. Don't you worry. Oh, look at that. You got that look in your eyes. That look that young people get that says they'll get something done no matter what it takes. How am I supposed to say no to that? You go find them and give them what they deserve for what they did for my Hajime. You hear? We will. I am pretty mad at them myself. If punches works, if punches work on him, I'll give him a good one. <laughs> now that I can get behind, I'll leave it to you two. Now then, your next move should be to find Hitomi and get that talisman. Oh, isn't there one more talisman that you need? Right, but we got a pretty good idea of where that. Right. We got a pretty good idea of where the one Michio had is. We'll have to check with Inspector Tsutsumi about that. We should go back to the school and call him. You got it. Okay. I'll head to the high school now and wait for you there. Perfect. All the pieces are coming together. Let's go to the high school. Preparing for battle? <laughs> Together with Yoshimi's fiance Mayu, Yaku and Mio report all they've learned so far to Satsumi and the others. Putting all their stories together, they can see their final objective at long last. Okay, who has the talisman? It's gotta be... It's gotta be the chief's daughter, right? Yaku Sakazaki, 5 p.m. Komagata High School. Mr. Sutsumi, this is Mayu Chozawa. Ah, uh, so you're the one. The Sumira police was looking for you. Glad to see you're all right. Sorry, I should have told someone I was okay. I was just so pissed off. Falling right into Hiyaku's hands, I got myself into some deep shit. Hiyaku seems like they're still up to something. We'll have to make sure they clean up their act once and for all. Get it? Because they sell soap? Oh, nice one, boss! You're really on top of your game today! Stop trying to make me feel better. I shouldn't have said anything. More importantly, Mayu, thank you for your cooperation with Yoshimi. We'll get to the bottom of it, I promise. Oh, you must be Detective Edio. I heard a lot about you from Hajime. I'll be counting on you. Catch whoever did this, no matter what. Let's talk to the main detective. Oh, huh. I heard you had a cursed stone, too. Yeah, I should give it to you then, right? Those things really are a pain in the ass. I'll gladly hand it over to you before it starts giving me any crazy ideas. So this is the beckoning light, huh? Alright, it's safe and sound with me. Sorry you won't be able to bring him back. Don't worry about it. He and I were always prepared for the worst anyway. What the? What's wrong? Damn. The trigger for the Beckoning Light's curse is some... Um, serious shit. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I said it'd give me some weird ideas. See what I mean now? How's it work? I'll leave you a note you can read later. We have more important things to worry about now. Alright. Mr. Sutsumi? Does that make it five cursed stones that you've gathered now? Should be. I want to get the other four under wraps as soon as we can. Let's see. 
I have no idea about the Whispering Canal. Someone made off with the one set of reach which Najima had. Yeah, damn shame. After that, we don't know about the Taiko of Sugato either, do we? So, we can assume that curse bearers are still prowling around out there with those ones. What are they? Hopefully we can find them soon. How is Sutsumi, like, not freaking out? He's carrying, like, so much power. How is he not consumed? His revolve must be so strong. Oh, Mayu. Did you meet with Hitomi? Yeah, I met her at the spot I was told. She was acting tough, but I think the incident with Hajime has really shaken her up. I briefly explained our situation and had her give Hajime's talisman to me. Easy. Here. This is what you're looking for, right? Yang talisman acquired. Yes, I believe that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Sutsumi, about this. Right. You should hold on to a meal. Not like we can use it as it is. Try to figure out what we need to do once we get both halves together. Understood. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where the other talisman is? Um, yes. Probably. This is Hajime's last job. Finish it for him, okay? We will. I guess this is the end of his family line too, huh? All the people who inherited that talisman before him are already all gone. Ooh, awkward. Oh, Mr. Sutsumi. I received a message from Paranormal Affairs earlier. It wasn't from Nakagoshi, but I had someone look into something for me. So even the dex jockeys are lending a hand. Brings a tear to your eye. So what'd they say? Right. About the Omiyoji woman who was in Edo at the time of the Honjo incident, she was a person of great beauty and discerning taste, but also shamelessly did whatever she wanted. It seemed to match the person seen in the resentful memory for the foot-washing mansion. Hmm. So she might be the one who fought with Simon over the right. And they found that her name was Ashino. Ashino, huh? What else? Um, that's all. That one's not much help. Oh, but... Apparently she was quite the powerful Omiyoji. And she died bearing a similarly powerful resentment. It's possible that she became a vengeful spirit with a connection to the Seven Mysteries. A vengeful spirit. If any descendants of Ashino or people otherwise closely aligned with her live today, there's a possibility that spirit awakened and possessed them. Yeah, you mentioned before that spirits can possess people who are closely in sync with them. Though this of course doesn't mean the spirit houses her complete personality. Her resentment and her spirit power, those are the parts of her that would have the strongest influence. Since Simon's descendants are still around in the present, it wouldn't be surprising if Ashino's were too. They might just be desk jockeys, but they wouldn't give us that info if it was only speculation. They must have found some amount of evidence, looking into abnormal phenomena or things like that. Oh, the Feast of Shadows. There it is. Or abnormal phenomena. Mio, what do you mean? The person who initiated the curse this time, who be Guys, voice acting is hard. <laughs> the person who initiated the curse this time, who we've been calling the Mastermind, they might be possessed by the vengeful spirit of an omiyoji named Ashino, the enemy of Simon. Do you have any idea who they could be or where to find them? Like, if you looked at the Mio, would you be able to tell right away? Um... It's like how I didn't realize that Michio had fused with your consciousness, Yako. Common spirits will leak spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. But when spirits of a higher caliber fuse with someone's consciousness, detecting them isn't so simple. Oh. I'm sorry. My skills still need a lot of work. 
and I don't have anything else to offer. Mio, that's not true at all. You're fine. We'll make this work somehow or other. Thanks. Man, Yaku's really nice. Basically, I believe the mastermind behind everything is a woman possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Omiyoji Ashino. I see. Is this mastermind also the one who killed Hajime trying to get the record of Fate's Yen Scroll? Yes, I think that's very likely. So that's how it is, huh? Then I want you to catch them no matter what. I'm looking for the sticker. They're all but finished investigating the crime scene, and the police have mostly left. But they're letting us use the school as our basic communications as per Inspector Satsumi's request. Donde esta sticker? <laughs> no, I, I didn't see any. Oh well. Come to think of it, did old man Ashimiya end up getting away? Huh, so words out already, huh? He was cornered but managed to take a hostage and escape is what I heard on the radio. What happened after that? So that's all they're reporting. Here's what really happened. He was killed? And the hostage was Susumi's daughter, whose whereabouts are still unknown? Yep. His daughter showing up was a huge surprise. Even Boss couldn't believe it. Damn it. The hell do you expect? No one could have seen that coming. So there's already an emergency search underway for her as a key witness and suspect. I'd be rejoining the search for her after we're done here. Key witness and suspect? But wasn't she a hostage? Could she have killed Najima and fled the scene? Well, that's just a possibility. Hmm. If we're taking... If we're talking possibilities, might as well tell them everything. It's very likely that Najima was killed by a curse stone. What? By a curse bearer? Oh, it's already evening, so the effect of the Feast of Shadows would be starting to return. Yeah, which makes it likely that a curse was used to kill him. Boss, you're repeating yourself. Try to calm down it for a sec. But that would mean... The inspector's daughter is probably a curse bearer, right? Hmm. Did you say something? Maybe I'm losing my hearing in my old age. Boss, you can hear just fine. Don't play the old man card every time you want to get out of something. We even talked about how she might have the Taiko of Sugato if that's the case. Did we? My memory is a little hazy. You got a soft spot for your daughter, don't you, Inspector? Hmm. It just... It's a little too close to home now. But either way, we have to find her as soon as possible. That's why we'll be joining the search as soon as we're done here. One more thing, there's a good chance that his daughter has Michio Shirachi's talisman. All the more reason for you to get back to that search. Best of luck. What the hell has she gotten herself into? Now, th now is that everything we needed to chat about? If you don't need anything else, we'll be going back to the search. Um, there actually is one thing. Hmm? What is it? Um, just completely hypothetical. Hypothetically? What if the inspector's daughter was the mastermind? I mean, she's a woman. It seems like she was after the talismans. Hmm. Sorry. I don't really understand what you mean. Boss, come on! We've got to look at the facts! But that would mean Inspector Sutsumi would also have to be one of Ashino's descendants. Oh, right. You're just a normal person, right, Inspector? Unless that's why you're so resistant to the paranormal.
don't believe I've ever heard anything about being related to some um, Miyoji. Oh. But. Well. If you put it like that. Her being the mastermind. It's possible. Really? Uh, I say possible. But I mean unlikely. Is what I want to think. Damn it. I don't even want to imagine it. Maybe it's the mom. The mom was kind of a bitch, right? <laughs> Boss, if we're going to consider it, we have to do it properly. No dragging your heels about it. No, that's not it. There's something I never told her. Never wanted to tell her. Did he adopt the baby? No, he didn't! The truth is, she's not my real daughter. Who? What? So I was kind of right, I was right! His daughter, also the art student, is the baby that was the reincarnation. So I was like half right. 20 years ago? Well, it was a long story, but we took her in when she was just a baby. Do you know anything about her birth parents? You could say I do, I guess, but really, I don't know anything. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it! Video? You heard what I said, didn't you? Just now? About 20 years ago? No, boss, that can't be! Nejima? That's right. When we arrested Fumichika Nejima, there was a baby at his house on the brink of death. That was... my daughter. Ayume Tsutsumi. She goes by Ayume Tono now. What? Someone had to take care of her. A baby holds no blame for the circumstances she came from. But... but... boss! According to Nejima, that baby is his former lover incarnated using black magic. What? Personally, I think that story is bullshit. According to Nejima, my goodness, it's hard to believe for Nejima's behavior, but could it really be true? I've got a few doubts. We have to question whether the Shino woman ever really existed in the first place. There's no records of her, and nobody was found. Her never... There's no records of her, and nobody was found. Her name never came up once during the investigation. Even if this woman really existed. I'm skeptical that someone could be reincarnated as a baby through black magic. I agree. No matter how you look at it, a spell with that effect is hard to believe. Even the supernatural has rules that must be followed. Seems more likely he deluded himself, not wanting to recognize that a spell he risked his life on failed to work. That's my thinking, too. The more natural conclusion is that the baby is his and Shino's, and that she died in childbirth. As long as we don't know Shino's origins, we have to consider the possibility that she could be a descendant of a Shino. Huh. If nothing else, their names are pretty similar. Okay, assuming all of that is true for a moment. Ayami getting taken away by Nijima and then killing him. That would mean that she killed her own father. Calm down, this is still conjecture. But now that Nijima's dead, we have no means to investigate. So regardless of everything, there's only one thing that matters. She's my daughter. As her parent... I'm responsible for her. Nothing can change that. I understand. All right. We should get back to the search. We'll find her and clear up all of this. Yes, sir. The talisman you young ladies are looking for has something to do with this as well. I'd appreciate it if you could help us find it. So if anything happens, please call the police. We will. I'm worried about Hitomi, so I'm going to head to where she is. I'm waiting to hear some good news from you all.
Dang, that was a lot. Holy moly. My goodness. Okay, so this one ended when they found Najima dead, I think. I just want to double check. I'm all the way back here? No, I'm not doing that shit again. We'll go to Haraway. Last resort. Haraway and Richer rescue Mayo Chuzio. I thought I said Mayo. <laughs> Last resort. Haraway and Richer rescue Mayo Chizoa and interrogate her along with Takumi Yomioka. Yet they fail to gain any particularly useful information about the curse bears. They decide to return to Haraway's home when. When what? Drama! Her son is gonna be back. Haraway Shigima, 5 p.m. Shigima Mansion Reception Room. We've received an update on the hostage situation. The 56-year-old male suspect who announced his intent to commit mass murder in Sumida City today has taken a woman hostage and gone on the run, but was found by the police in a park in Sumida after 4 p.m. and confirmed dead. The weapon the suspect was said to possess was nowhere to be found on site, and its whereabouts are currently unknown. Furthermore, the female hostage was not present, and the search for her continues. Interesting. If it's being reported on the news, then that leads credence to her story. Anyways, I should ask about her side of the story. Oh! Oh! I forgot she was here! Wait, no! Why is she here? It was last time the inspector saw her. It was at the park and she ran away. How? So we, okay, so we must have ran into her, took her back home. Or did we give her her address? I don't think we did. Bruh. I did not think she was going to be here. We got bamboozled. <clears throat> well, it's just like I said, right? The female hostage mentioned on the news just now. That must have been new. Which means you killed Najima with your own curse stone. <laughs> yeah, well... Well, you said you'd give me refuge, so I came to take you up on that offer. What are you planning? Me? Well, obviously, I'm on to my last resort. Um. So, you're a curse bear with a curse stone, too, right? <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes, I have a curse stone of my own. It's the Taiko of Sugaru. Then, why go after other people's curse stones? Um, because killing people is bad, you know? Don't you think so, too? Yeah, I think so. Smile. You're right. It's wrong to kill people for the sake of resurrection. Right? It is not even for one, so it's hardly a fair exchange. Either way, that's why I wanted to only use soul dregs gathered by others. But that didn't work out in the end. No one had the backbone to use their curse. The world's gone soft. With no one mercilessly, with no one mercilessly, sorry, I've never seen that word in my life. Just kidding. <laughs> mercilessly, mercilessly. With no one mercilessly using their curse in the pursuit of their own goals, I had to take matter into my own hands. 
I heard Namagaki, that young man you were with, used his curse stone too. Huh? How do you know that? Um, creepy much. Are you stalking me? I may have heard it from a detective I know. Ah, oh, there it is. Cops. Bet you know a bunch. I know your type. People who boast just because they know a couple of cops. But the police is filled with nothing but scum. A cab. Mine. You seem to hold quite a grudge against the force. Yeah, because your dad's a cop. <laughs> Speaking of, this guy's really creeping me out. What's the deal with him anyway? You gonna explain? Even the way he moves is all weird and exaggerated. Right, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Um, no thank you. Dude, I love her. <laughs> Wait, but she's evil. So, what were we talking about again? Oh, right. Yutaro Namagaki. He's no good, honestly. He was such a wuss. I had to spur him on so many times for him to even use his curse. And even then, he was pissing his pants. And just when I take my eyes off of him, he has his... And just when I take my eyes off of him, he hands over his curse stone to someone. Honestly, he's a disappointment. So, that's what happened. Which is why I figured I had to do it myself if I wanted it done right, you know. That's what my last resort is. Collecting soul drags on my own. In what way? Let me introduce myself. It's hard to talk as strangers. It is? And are you okay telling me who you are? Well, I won't stop you. Do as you please. Well, I'm Harue Shigima, and this is my house. My father and husband are both with the police. Is that so? Then you know that cops are just the worst people, right? Well... There are certainly many who are cold, especially with their own family. In a police family, one is expected to just grin and bear it, no matter what happens. God, I know, right? What a relief! You understand, I think we might get along. Oh, well, I'm glad then. And I'm Richard Kai, private investigator. Uh, did I ask? But, hmm, you're an investigator? So your job is to sneak around and follow people to pry into their secrets, right? Oh, that is why you keep probing with all those questions. Ew. Guess there's not much I can do to change that terrible impression you got of me. Hey, lady. Why are you working with this dude? I asked him to look into something for me. Really? It's just that he keeps looking this way. Yeah, Richard kind of a creep. Isn't your father a police officer as well? That man is not my father. Not a name or deed. Sounds like there's some bad blood there. I've already legally cut all ties. He even had the nerve to act all high and mighty today, and still refused to help me. You met him today. Yesterday. Remember that she- I keep on saying shit. Yesterday. Remember that Chief Tsutsumi was chasing Najima? Well, that's him. My dad. What? You're his daughter. Former daughter. I've cut ties. He's never acted like a father, so he doesn't deserve the title. Hmm. You know, I heard something about the Najima guy. Apparently he wanted to get revenge on Chief Inspector Tsutsumi for his arrest by going after his daughter. Oh wait, really? And I heard the police have been searching non-stop to take you into protective custody. So that explains why the police were stalking out your place too. Man, how could I have I known- Man, how could I have known that? They came in such intimidating numbers. Wait, huh. Hold on a minute. Doesn't that mean that Najima was specifically after my life today? That sounds about right. It's a good thing you got out of there unscathed, or rather, managed to turn the tables on him. Hmm. Oh, that means, legally speaking, it was self-defense. But that truly was quite frightening. 
to think I'd have to go through this just for being related to a cop. It's a disgrace! It truly is. To cause their own child such trouble. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. You're not the one that needs to apologize, lady. Oh, I'm sorry. It just reminded me of what happened to my son. Your son? Well, what happened? Why do we look so sad and tired? My child was also kidnapped and murdered in order to enact revenge against the police, you see. What? How awful! That's terrible! I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, now that you say it, I do remember hearing about an incident like that last year. That must have been your son, huh? My condolences. Now that I think about it, although we've met a few times, I don't even know your name. I guess we're more like acquaintances now. So, when you were taken hostage by Najima, you used the curse stone in the gardens and swiftly made your getaway. Well, yeah. I didn't really have time to think on it, and at the time I only thought of how to get out of there. Then... What about now? Could you use it again? Your curse stone? Well, the curse stone doesn't respond during the day, but... It's evening now. So I tried using the curse just now, and yep. It seems I activated it. What? You're using it now? It might still be a little weak. I guess it's not supposed to be used repeatedly. But I think I could get it to work once more. Oh. That's so. Sure is. So I'll give you a final warning. It's already started. So be careful, hmm? It's started? What started? The curse, of course. All that's left is for the conditions to be fulfilled. Dude, she's a freak. She's activated her curse. The curse stones can be used already. And let my guard down. I didn't think it could be used this early in the evening. Ma'am, please calm down. What should I do? Should I keep her talking? Uh... Okay, do you have a lot in you? That's too specific. Why me? Uh... Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I wanna look up what her curse is. Taiko of Sugaru. Haiku of Sugaru. What? It's about the fire watcher. It's gotta do with drums. Oh, the curse. Okay, I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> I don't know anything about it! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I don't know anything about my specific curse. Uh oh. Curse stones. Okay. I'm just gonna ask her, what do you desire? No, instead of talking about that, how about we talk about why you're so shaken? As I thought. You have a curse stone too. You're a curse bearer, aren't you, lady? Uh, it's best to be honest at this, at this point. Yes, I am. I'm sure you've already noticed. Well, yeah, around last night. It was a little too obvious. Judging by your address, I'm guessing you've got the haunting clappers? 
Yes, that's right. There's a lot of soul drinks on the table for killing a curse bear, you know. I'm well aware. Did you get a soul dregs when you killed Najima? Of course. His curse stone already contains some soul dregs as well. I think killing one more curse bear will be enough for the right. Ooh. You can combine soul dregs across several stones? Correct. All it needs is a prerequisite amount. As long as you get that, it doesn't seem to matter where you get them from. I see. Then... Oh, wait. Does she, wait, I don't think Haruhi has soul dregs yet. I don't think she killed anybody. Then... You won't mind if I took them, right? <laughs> my, my lady! You're quite motivated, aren't you? Ma'am? We asked her about her desire earlier. She didn't answer. She didn't want to answer. How would we negotiate? I don't want to ask her the same thing again, so let's do negotiate. Oh! I don't want to use it! I'm not- I'm not gonna use it! Listen, Ayame. I have something to ask you. No. The answer is no. The cursed stone in your possession, I... I'm not giving it up. You're right. We're both made of stronger stuff than that. You're not giving it up. And neither am I. You know full well, right? Saved. Her desire. What is your wish, Ayame? Is it really to resurrect Katsushika Hokuzai? Yes, there's no life that holds more value than his. Including my own. You're saying you'd be willing to die if it meant bring Hokuzai back to life? Not all life is equal. At least, not to me. A life that can birth art with the power to move hearts is infinitely more worthy. Compared to that, the life of someone like me, someone that can't produce a thing, has no value. Okay, she just has self-esteem issues. That's unhinged. I'm still young. It's the age for wild thoughts. But... Aren't you the same as me? What? You've got a life more important than your own. A life you consider more important than the life of many others. That's what you're doing it all for, isn't it? You're right. If I can save my son... I couldn't care less about my life or the life of others. Who's unhinged now? I'm a mother. It is what it is. Dang. The feelings of a proper parent are something else. Tobacco. Oh, we're gonna ask if she smokes. That's like too uh, that's too specific. That's unrelated to anything. We're we're not I don't wanna kill her. I don't wanna kill anybody. The only people who have used the curses was with uh Shogo? I think his name was Shogo Ike. But that's because like the game made me do it. I didn't press the button. From this point on, I ain't killing nobody. Let's ask about Najima. Ooh, her eyes went wide. How did you kill Fumichika Najima? I'm not telling you. I can only ask because it does concern me. He was one of the reasons my child was kidnapped. Oh, we're asking so we can figure out what her curse is. Okay, I see. There's not much to say. We talked and he cleared the conditions for my stone. Did he show any signs of remorse over his past crimes? It didn't feel like he did, no. I see. The world is full of trash men, I tell you. 
<laughs> That's... I agree. Her father. Her father. The chief inspector. I met him not too long ago. Oh, really? He came off a little stiff and awkward. <laughs> There's a surprise. But there was something charming about his seriousness. And he seemed like he cared a lot about his daughter. Um, please cut it out. It's gross. You don't know a thing about us. Outsiders shouldn't butt into another family's affairs. Though he may as well be a stranger to me now. Even if you've cut legal ties, you're still related by blood. Huh? We're not related at all. Huh? He probably thought that I never noticed it, but... It wasn't hard for me to figure out that I wasn't related to them by blood. So, you were adopted? Well, I got curious, so I looked into it. It was all pretty straightforward. I was a baby when they took me in. All they did was raise me. My mother first got pregnant shortly after she married. But it was a stillbirth. Dang. The whole affair left a deep wound on her heart. The whole affair left a deep wound on her heart. My father couldn't bear to see it. So it was for her sake that he did it. I was the substitute, a replacement for the child she lost. He decided that all by himself. He didn't discuss it. Maybe he was trying to be thoughtful, so any baby would have been fine, as long as it would have com So any baby would have been fine, as long as it could have comforted- Could have comforted- So any baby would have been fine, as long as it could have comforted the woman who hoped to become a mother. Putting it in such a way. It's not easy to raise a child. My mother was bewildered. Wouldn't you be? After being told to raise a baby that wasn't your own? But she couldn't just abandon the baby either. Yet my father just left everything to my mother and never lent a hand. He is so damn selfish. Um... The two of them grew apart. I watched them try and figure out how to understand each other. And the sight of it disgusted me. It was a messed up family, I tell you. Well... I guess my presence was to blame for the rift to begin with. You shouldn't say that. I know he's bad at I know he's bad at expressing himself and has had his work, but still that shouldn't be an excuse. But knowing all that, I couldn't take it anymore. It just made me want to hurry up and leave home and live on my own. I still rely on him for tuition and allowance. But that much is normal for most kids, right? <laughs> She's still leeching? Dude! Okay, Ayami's kind of a dick. <laughs> I don't want him to start acting like he's my father now just because he's doing the minimum. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like it was tough for all of you. I'm sorry. You're right. It's not my place to talk about your family. Oh, uh, well, I may have said too much. Do you think I spilled all that when I don't even know what the conditions are? Could it be that we're just talking about... Could it be we were just talking about... Talking about had some... What we were... Okay. Could it be what we were talking about had something to do with the activation conditions for the haunting clappers? Who knows, hmm? Ooh. Okay, okay. She's on to us. I'm not- I'm not gonna ask about tobacco. I refuse. In a way, I guess you could say you put a stop to Najima's mass murder schemes. Hmm. About that. There's no guarantee that I won't do it myself. She's a freak! Dude! Huh? I picked up his curse stone of the one-sided reed. It really is something else. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, can she use a stone? But I guess not. Unfortunately, I can't use a stone that's not mine until it's late at night. Really? Are you okay with telling me that? 
Uh, how silly of me. I let that slip. <laughs> Tee hee. But if that's your wish, then what do you plan on doing if you don't get your wish? Oh, I haven't thought of it. I might just keep on trying to bring Hokuzai back some other way. You really are obsessed. You and Hiyaku's chairwoman might be cut out. You and Hiyaku's chairwoman might be cut from the same cloth. Who's that? She's like an all-powerful vortex of obsession turned to yokai-level proportions. Hmm. So you're saying I'll end up like her? Are you looking forward to such a future? I'd rather not have to wait till I'm old and cracking. I want it to happen now. I'll put my life on the line for Hokuzai. But there's no room left for negotiation here. You're right. There's not. Ooh, I gotta ask about tobacco. Do you smoke? Huh? Well, a little. Feel free to smoke if you want to, please. I'm okay. I don't see any ash trees on display either. Does no one smoke in this family? A little rare, isn't it? Nobody in this family does. Then why did you ask if I did all of a sudden? Well, see, I know it's too obvious. Hmm. Do I have to kill her? Then there's no room left for negotiation here. You're right, there's not. No, I have to. I can't press any buttons. Ah, uh, oh no. Oh no. Ah. Did you try to use your curse? Just now? She got me. It seems I didn't meet your curse's conditions. I wonder if it was smart to secretly toss the lighter I was carrying earlier. How'd she know? When did... You made a mistake when you decided to ask me about smoking. It's a source of fire is the condition for your stone. Then you won't see me falling for it now. You wasted your chance with all this chatter. All you needed to do was activate your curse first. I brought everything Nojima had on him, including the lighter he was holding. But it's over now. Yes, I concede. Alrighty. With your cards on the table, you're out of options. It might be possible for Mr. Investigator there to pin me down by force. But he's not going to do that, is he? Correct. I won't take that risk. Not while your curse's conditions are unknown. Coward. I came to kill you and acquire your soul dregs, but... After hearing you out, I got a question for you. Why don't you just give up on the Rite of Resurrection? You said it was your son, right? The one you want to bring back? But haven't you done enough? I'm sure your son is content knowing you care for him this much. I'm truly willing to die to resurrect Pokosai, but... You can't say the same, right? Ooh... Stop! If you're going to bring your son back, you have to be alive as well, right? In fact, what you really want is both of you to live, right? Wait, is the final step the old switcheroo? You gotta die in their place? Uh-oh. Yes. 
Well, even if you both live to see it, your son would grow up knowing you for who you are. Someone who stole the lives of others to bring him back. He would be putting the burden of shouldering all the lives sacrificed for him on his little shoulders. Are you really going to be okay with that? Uh -huh. If you didn't even think about that, then what are you doing this for if not for your son? Oh, wait. Okay, okay. If, if it is true that, like, you have to die in order for them to live, it could be possible that that is canon because Ayame theoretically has the other half of the scroll, which is, like, the final piece of how to do it. Then what you're doing is not for your son. It's for yourself. Aren't you just bringing him back to fulfill your own desire? That's not... Ma'am? What she's saying may be harsh, but holds a kernel of truth. Don't reduce yourself to nothing but a mother who would sacrifice anything for her son. But that's not... We discover the truth behind his kidnapping. Next, you should take some time to come understand your own feelings. I'll help you every step of the way. Getting to the heart of things is what an investigator does. What will you do? Ma'am? If you relinquish the cursed stones to a cursed bearer, you will no longer be a cursed bearer. You won't be able to target anymore. Ayame is giving you a chance. Think hard, and then give your answer. to me keeping it genuinely but they're both telling me to give it up so I don't want to but it would be the right thing to do but then she also said Ayami has enough dregs to like kill everybody if she gets one more curse on but I don't have any dregs I'll give it up very well here. Thanks. Glad you could see reason. Ma'am, you made the right choice. Dang. You really didn't collect any soul dregs, huh? I promised myself that if I ever used it, it would only be once. But in the end, it didn't come down to numbers. So, they only need to be carrying a flame? This seems pretty practical. Well, I'll be taking my leave then. There's no point in going after you for soul dregs, so I'm off to the next curse bearer. Do you know who remains? You speak as if you've already figured it out. Hmm, I've got a pretty good idea from our talk. What will you do? Do you plan to stop me? Bang. <laughs> it's not my place to intervene. All right, then. Hey, lady, can I borrow your phone? I don't mind. But who are you calling? Hmm, the cops. I think it would be faster if I called them directly. She's going to turn herself in, and then she's going to kill her father. Ooh, is this the... Wait, I should probably go back to Manhunt, actually. Okay, guys. You know what time it is. It's time for a freaking ad. Because we are four hours in the stream. Um, type one if you are excited for the ending. Type one. Okay. It's time for an ad. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you must do is subscribe. For $4.99, it's $5. Skip your coffee. $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you got a sub available. Do it now. This game scares me? Really? <laughs> you are such a little wimp. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, this game isn't that scary. Like, genuinely. The, the, the first, like, six hours of the game, super scary. 
because that was when like you don't know what's going on but now that you kind of know what's going on you're like oh they're not gonna like kill each other i've had it muted the whole time <laughs> oh it makes you uncomfy oh shall we <laughs> sorry i don't it i don't mind gore and stuff because in my head it's not real um also, like, I haven't seen anything in my real life, thankfully. Like, I haven't experienced that trauma. So it's like... I, I, I don't know how to say this. Like, I haven't seen anybody who's passed. You know what I mean? So, like, it's not... It's not like I can... I have a memory of recalling what it's like to actually experience it. That's why, like, I understand why some people don't like scary games like this. You know what I wonder? I wonder if, like, cops or forensic people enjoy true crime content. True crime. True crime content. Or is it just, like, just another day at work, baby? Okay, I'm gonna test the audio. My mod view froze for a second. That was weird. All my chat's gone. You guys are gone. Pee pee poof. Oh, it is back. Okay. That was weird. Because, like, I use Chrome and sometimes Chrome just, like, breaks. Yeah, I can see chat now. <laughs> Back to it. I guess... Uh, should I... I'll finish this chapter. I'll just, like, speed run through the dialogue. <laughs> this music... Well, I guess I can talk to, um, Eddie Home. Alrighty then. Hmm. I'll slit your throat, you little shit! Huh? Oh, what? I'll shoot! <laughs> Wait, stop. Don't actually shoot, you idiot. See you around, dumb fucks. Wait, what? Bad ending? Shit, he jumped. Damn it. After him. Don't let him get away. Tetsuo Sutsumi, 6 p.m. From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect evaded officers at Kumagata Suspect evaded officers at Kumagata Bridge and fled and currently remains at large. The time at which he threatened to carry out his attack is approaching. In response, we will call on reinforcements and widen the search perimeter beyond the immediate Sumida River area. Boss Oh boss Boss, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. If only I hadn't lost my nerve and opened fire. Enough. I told you already. It's on me. I should have told you to lower your weapon. Thinking that chasing him to the river would cover him was also a miscalculation. Sure, it's possible that right now he's sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the river. But somehow I doubt things would be that easy. Do you think... He can really kill hundreds of people? Who knows? Him saying he already used his curse turned out to be a bluff. Hard to believe he could kill hundreds at once. 
even with a curse stone, but... All we can do is pray that he was lying. This has to be a bad ending. The condition for Najiba's curse stone, the one-sided reed, was only later discovered. Kills by dismemberment, ones whose face, address, name, age, occupation, and location are all known by the curse bearer. Oh, oh no. But if he had the internet, everybody would be dead. And so, at sunset that day, out of 632 students enrolled at Kumagata High School, the 377 who were at home, each had one arm and one leg severed, one by one. In the order they appear on the school register, they bled to death while screaming in agony. Oh, because he was a school worker, so he probably had access to that somehow. Having no known cause, this atrocity terrified the public, resulting in widespread panic. Before long, fear and speculation plunged society into total chaos, and misinformation about the curses began to spread. A series of unrelated incidents broke out, unleashing pandemonium beyond all control. While it is uncertain whether Fumichika Nijima intended things to go this far, Tatsu Tsutsumi's daughter Ayami Tono was also killed by Nijima's curse shortly after. No! And Tetsuo Tsutsumi, unable to bear the heavy raw responsibility or the people's blame, quit the police force and fled from the public eye. At the very least, Najima's goal of driving Tetsumu Tsutsu At the very least, Najima's goal of driving Tetsuo Tsutsumi to ruin could not have been more thoroughly achieved. Thus, with his rapturous satisfaction, the curtains close on. Ending number two, Najima's Reminiscence. Guns are bad. This game is woke. <laughs> Dang. Bad ending. Okay, this is not the ending I had initially anyway. I just wanted to talk to Edio. So good thing I didn't go for this ending. Also, the other ending I got with the high school girls, I didn't want to go to the mail of the bridge. I just wanted to see what would happen. Dang. Paranormal site. Guys, stream over. <laughs> it is nice how the credits are super fast. They know that we want to get back in. When the Jima went on to use this enormous horde of soul dregs for remains unclear, but according to later reports, Najima devoted himself to his master, a woman called Lady Ashino. Master? Hey, yo. I want to go back. Because I think there was one more dialogue sequence I missed. Because I didn't mean to talk and turn around and talk to the daughter. Yeah, don't talk to her. Also, don't talk to Edio. Because he's just stupid. He just doesn't? Okay, not a chance. The gun stays up, but I'm not going to talk to Eddie. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time.
We saw all this earlier. Then he lore dumps. He's like, I wanted to bring back the love of my life, but there was a baby, and I can't, like, hold the baby. Okay, black magic is done. I'm a man of my word as you're about to find out. Okay. did exhaust all the dialogue so if you didn't turn around you would get a bad ending okay so I, I did do it completely right the first time <laughs> dude Eddie is so stupid <laughs> okay so I, I did it right the first time I'm cracked in video games. This has got to be the final <gasps> conclusion. No way. Conclusion. Tsutsumi and Enio continue their investigation, deciding to meet with Ayami Tono to get to the bottom of it all. What will the conclusion to the curse of the seven mysteries of Honjo, to Simon and Ashino's intertwined fates? Guys, get ready to spam. You are here. Tetsuo Sutsumi, 6 p.m. Sumida River. Hey. How long has it been since we saw each other? Three years? How have you been? I think the last time was when you came to see me after deciding to go to university. That wasn't because I wanted to see you. I just needed money to pay my tuition. Huh. Not one to mince words, eh? You came alone, right? Yeah. It's just me. You make it sound like I'm handing over ransom money for hostages. I just don't want to get caught, okay? <laughs> Eddie-o. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day that you called the police. There is something I needed to see you about. Well, all right then. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's go through things one by one. The sun is starting to dip down into the horizon. This long, long day is about to end. We don't have to worry about Nijima's threat anymore, but I sure didn't expect this to happen. Okay, where are they hiding? <laughs> I want to find them. Bushes. Hmm. What was that? Did something move over there? Huh. What the hell are those idiots doing? I told them not to come, damn it. Shit. I don't know what'll happen if they get found out. Whatever I do, I gotta keep from looking over there. Okay, don't look. <laughs> Ooh, lots of juicy drama. You have a curse stone, don't you? I do. You wouldn't happen to feel like handing it over, would you? The police will handle any damages the curse caused. Now, before you do any more wrong with it, I'm not giving it up. Of course not. Me being a curse bearer? Are you after my life? 
That's exactly what I'm here for. I didn't come to chat. We can talk all you want, but as soon as the condition for my curse is met, I'll use it. No hesitation. Oof. Or do you have more than one? How many curse stones do you have? Three. Not that it matters. Three, huh? Oh, so then she has the final three. I'm not handing them over. Why are you willing to go so far for the Rite of Resurrection? What do you want with it? Even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. You just call it stupid and dismiss the idea completely. Come on. I wouldn't do that. Maybe together we can think of a way for you to get what you want without resurrection. I want to bring Katsushika Hokusai back to life. Ho Hokusai? What? Hokusai the Iyo... What? Hokusai the Ukiyoe artist? That Hokusai? That'd be quite the feat, huh? That's you! I, I heard you liked his art, but why would you do something as though stupid? See? Ugh. The only time I ever felt there was a place I belonged was when I was immersed in the dreamlike world of Ukiyoe. Though I'm sure you never noticed. Really, I had no idea. It saved me. Hokusai is the reason I'm still alive today. I didn't know you felt so hopeless. He would only realize it now, but it's too late. Feeling sorry won't do either of us any good. From the moment I heard about the Rite of Resurrection, I knew that it was my destiny. If this is all I ever accomplish, I'll die happy. You're really serious about this. Then I'll pull this bluntly. Did you kill Najima? And if I did, would you hide me from the police? Hmm. Well, I... I don't know if I... That's what I thought. Your job is the only thing you really care about. Yes, I did it. You... I don't even- I don't think he even knew I was a curse bearer. He brought me to those gardens, and I realized while he was talking to me that he fulfilled the condition of my curse. So, I gave it a shot. I didn't think it would actually activate. So, there's no going back now. That's not true. You can still make things right. Before you can make them worse. Then let me say it another way. This is my chance, and I won't throw it away. Your chance? Dude, genuinely, she's so stupid. Bring back an artist? She's so dumb. Did Najima say anything to you? He said a lot of bad things about you, that's for sure. Yeah, not surprised there. So I said a lot of bad things about you back. I didn't want to be outdone. Harsh. In that sense, I felt just a little like he was my kindred spirit. No, no, no. Kindred spirit? What are you talking about? He's a dangerous criminal. But I'm a murderer now too, aren't I? Maybe we're not too different. Hmm. No, you're, you're, you're different. Am I? <laughs> well, maybe not that different. But at least you're honest. I know I haven't been the best father. But I wonder, of all the fathers in the world, are there any who could have... Are there any who wouldn't cover for their child if they committed a crime? How should I know? You're the detective here. You must have seen plenty of cases like that.
Yeah. Plenty of parents take the fall for their children, or give them a place to hide. As a person, it's wrong, but maybe, as a parent, it's the right thing to do. I don't know. But I think having a father like that would make it easier to do... But I think having a father like that would make it easier to go to him for advice if I did do something wrong. Maybe there's a sense of security in knowing that no matter what happened, you'd have at least one person on your side. I see. So that's what it would take to be on your side. I can't do that. Come on! That's okay. I wasn't really expecting you to. Dang it. He could have made up for 20 plus years of trouble just by covering up her self-defense murder. Okay, but like, sh did she like activate the curse though? Because if she did, uh, okay, it's all her fault. So, Najima really didn't tell you anything. Not really, no. Sorry, my ring light is blocking, like, a little bit of my screen, so I gotta lean. Can I ask you one thing? Do you know anything about the talisman Michio Shiraishi had? Michio Shiraishi? From the car crash you were in with that Nam- From the car crash you were in with that Namigaki guy. Oh, with Yutaro? Yeah, it was there. Yutaro? That sounds like... So you and him were- I- I mean... Um, not really. He was kind of a boring guy. What, you're serious, but he said... Ah, you're getting off track, miss- Ah! You're getting off track, Mr. Tsutsumi. The talisman! Get back to the talisman. Well, we shouldn't have relied on him for this. Well, if you don't plan on seeing him again, it doesn't matter. But with the hit and run kiss on top of everything, you're really in deep. Is it re Is that really what you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I, I mean, no. Tell me about the talisman. Did you take it from the scene? You mean this? That's it. I picked it up at the scene of the crash. I didn't want to leave fingerprints behind. That's all? There's really no other reason? What's the big deal? Is it really that special? This whole thing? Throw it in the river! <laughs> yeah, it's really important. Would you mind giving it to me? Important? For what? For putting a stop to the curses of the Seven Mysteries. Oh. So... That means if I give you this talisman, I won't be able to use the right. Then no way! I'm definitely keeping it! Ugh. I screwed that one up. Mr. Sutsumi, you really can't do any better than that? Come on! The talisman! Why did he leak that? He's generally so stupid. Will you give me the talisman? What? No way! I can't lose the right. Dumbass. I'm sorry I couldn't save you from Najima. Are you hurt? And there it is. That's so like you. What? You are only mentioning that now? Shouldn't that have been the first thing you asked me? Come on! I can never win! Mm, um, well, I... I was just... You're not worried about me. All you care about is yourself. Yeah. You're right. I've been selfish, I know. Oh, come on, Mr. Sutsumi. You can do better than that. He really screwed up there, huh? Okay, I didn't think the order would matter. I was just doing them in order. But yes, I agree. Not asking if she was okay first. Not asking if she was okay first was an L. I'm fine. I'm fine. I managed to get away somehow or other. Right. I'm glad. How is she? Yaku. How is she? Yasuko, I mean. Mom? 
I haven't kept in touch with her. I've been on my own this whole time. I'm sure you've reached out to her, though, haven't you? I did call her this morning, actually, just to make sure she was safe. She's been running around all over the place looking for you. Hmm. Sounds like she's fine to me. Did you contact her after I called the police to tell her you'd heard from me? I... I did not. <laughs> well, I've heard you're into nightlife and staying out late these days. Didn't want her to worry more than she already was. You're one to talk. I think I've let you talk enough. Mind letting me have a turn? By all means. You're hiding something. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? Hmm? It's not good if I deny it. At this point, it's best if I'm honest, because if I'm honest, maybe I'll build more rapport and she'll give me that nice little talisman. So I'm going to say, yes, sir. Well, sure. You can't live as long as I have without having a secret or two. Of course you try to dodge the question. Now then, let me tell you how my cursed stone, the Taiko of Sugata, works. What? My curse bludgeons to death anyone I found out is hiding something from me. Aww. So if you try to cover up something that I know is true, I'll be able to use my curse on you. With that in mind, can I ask you one more thing? Oh, I get it. Why well, you wanted to see me. Then let me tell you one thing first. The evergreen beach has a similar condition. I can use my curse on anyone who tells me a lie. Who what? How is that fair? And you'd use that curse on me? As an officer of the law, it's inexcusable. But as a parent with a duty to his child, I have no other choice. Are you threatening me? Do you really think that's enough to convince me to do as you say? I don't want to use it either. But for your sake, I suggest you try not to lie. Go ahead then. If I lie, then so be it. Okay, I'm gonna ask. If you try to hide it now, you really will die. Am I? Am I your real daughter? I'm just a baby you picked up to replace your stillborn, aren't I? And you could never bring yourself to tell me who my real parents were, so you just kept hiding it. Um... Still too much of a coward to tell me, huh? I don't think you want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know, Ayame. You just killed your father, technically, but also your lover. It's, it's weird. You don't like the truth, so you won't admit it. That my real parent... Is the man I was just with. How does she know? Ayame. Is that all you have to say? Then I only have one answer for you. You are honestly and truly our daughter. Nothing more, nothing less. E even now, you're still trying to hide it? Why are you really that stupid? Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah, uh, boss, boss. Why is your pride worth dying for? I should have known. Why? Why go this far to hide it? Ayame. Listen. Huh? 
your how? Ayame, be proud. No matter what happens, you are our precious daughter. No, wait. How are you still alive? I don't know what that piece of shit Najima filled your head with. But you're not Shino. And you're not Ashino either. You're our daughter. Ayame Sutsumi. Alright, I guess it's Tono now. Well, that's fine too. Sutsumi, Tono, both will always be part of who you are. What? Why are you doing this? That's not true. The curse proves that it's not. Sure. You probably don't have many memories of us playing together. And I did leave everything at home to your mom. And I was barely ever there for you. Even so, when I was working, no matter how grisly a crime scene I was at, all I ever wanted was for you to grow up to be happy. And that's it. Oh, he's killing himself so that way she can have the old artist come back and she can take his stones. Why? Why say all of this now? So, do one last thing for me. I want you to tell me the truth, too. And if you lie to me now, I'm taking you with me. Stop! I, I can't! The mastermind behind all of this. The one who awakened the curse of the... The mastermind behind all of this. The one who awakened the curses of the seven mysteries in order to use the right. It wasn't you, was it? No, no, I wouldn't even know how to do that. And picking up Machio Shiraishi's talisman was just coincidence, right? Huh? Yeah, I already told you that. Uh, good. Hearing that, I can rest easy. You're nothing like Najima. You can stand on your own two legs. You can keep living without escaping into a fantasy. You can hate me. You can dream all the crazy dreams you want. Just don't ever stop trying to do good. You were a victim of your curse too. It's not too late to atone for the hit and run. For using the curse, don't run away. You can still make things right. I know you can, because you're my daughter. And after that, just live the best life that you can. Dad! No! Oh. Boss! Boss! Poor Edio. That day, at 6.18 p.m., Ayame Tono was taken into custody. Tetsuo Tsutsumi's death was confirmed at the same time. The five cursed stones possessed by Tsutsumi, as well as the three given up by Ayame, lost their curse bearers. This temporarily extinguished their spirit power, allowing Mio Kurusuzu to obtain them and seal them away without difficulty. The yin talisman possessed by Ayame Tono was recovered and entrusted to Mio Kurosuzo as well. Thus, any massacre that could potentially be caused by this iteration of the curses was prevented before it could ever happen. Or so it seemed. No! Files updated. Jun Erio, 8 p.m. Sorry for keeping you out so late, Mio. I can't take my mind off the curse bearer who was never found. Oh, it's no problem for me. I usually work at night anyway. 
Did you see Yaku home safely? Yep, we sent her home in a patrol car earlier. Apparently she put up quite a fuss saying she wanted to see Apparently she put up quite a fuss saying she wanted to see things through to the end. Thank you. The Feast of Shadows was starting to take effect, so it would have been dangerous. Oh yeah, the curse is still ongoing. We didn't figure out the curse. Uh oh. Mockingbird number 20. Oh, dude, that mark on the building. It looks like a person. I'm just trying to see if there's something I can click in the background. Nope. This is Edio's perspective. Okay, so I gotta do the Edio voice. 8 p.m. with no one around. This place is silent as the grave. No one wants to go out at night in these parts after everything that's happened over the past two days. We're back where we began the park. I can't get my mind out the remaining curse stone, the Whispering Canal, and who the mastermind is. But we have to deal with that thing before I can worry about any of that. How's it going with the two talismans? Have you figured out the location of the Record of Fates Yun Scroll? I have, more or less. When I combined the contents of the two talismans, they formed a seal which could be undone. The things inside the talismans that looked like scraps of wood were actually a tiny scroll kept folded up by the seal. Who would have thought the talismans actually contained the scroll itself? So that's the yin scroll then. Ooh, what's it say? Well, there's one more seal we have to undo to open the scroll. It's giving me some trouble, so I was actually hoping you could help me out. Dude, it's been like less than two hours. It takes me so long to do a simple word puzzle. Like, let her be. Let her cook. Okay, unlocking the seal. Got it. Sure thing. I don't know what I'll be able to do, but let me at it. Wow, I didn't expect you to be so eager to help. It's oddly reassuring. Okay, let's see. There are five seals holding the scroll shut. I think we have to remove them in the correct order. Each seal has a different design. A harp, a light, a beech leaf, a taiko drum, and a reed. Remove the five seals in the right order. Okay. If I get it wrong, it's going to, you know, go boom. Huh? No. We'll just have to try again. I tested it once already. Oh. You already tried it yourself? So beret. I think it's devised so the seal can only be undone if the curses for the right have already been unleashed. I think there's a hint to opening it hidden in something related to the curses. Hmm. Just let me know when you're ready. Uh. <laughs> um. The record of fancy and scroll. Um. <laughs> uh. stones maybe it's like this order I guess it's the order of the curses, so I'm gonna write them down. That's my first hypothesis. 
Then we got canal. Procession. Procession. Light. The lepers. Beach. Sugaru. Mansion foot. Read lantern. <clears throat> Ooh, console a meal. It won't explode or anything, so we might as well give it a try. I see. Okay. Remove the seals. <clears throat> Remove them in the correct order. Okay, what's the carp? Oh, we've seen all of them. Okay, canal has a carp. Procession has a mask. Light has a lantern. Clappers has wooden clappers. Beach. Beach has some leaf. Torgon has drum. But washing has slippers. Reed has a reed. Lantern has a wooden lantern. Okay, first one is carp. And then mask, which is no mask, the lantern. Light. Uh, wooden clappers? No. Leaf? Oh, wait, beach is leaf. Drum? Read. Okay, with that. Right. Okay, so it's not the order that the curses are. Nope, no good. God damn it. Oh. Are these numbered? Interesting. These ones are actually numbered. In the seven mysteries, they're numbered. Okay, so canal is one. Wait, no. The canal is number three. Okay, the order that they show in this menu is the same order that I wrote down.
Okay, this might take a minute. Cauldron Society's locations in modern day stuff. Maybe it was the order that we found them? Oh, I don't know. A chain of events. There's gotta be like something that tells us the order. What is the gameplay guide? Oh, I miss so many stickers, damn. theory that maybe it's the order in which we saw the characters retrieve the stones because it I need to see what's on the actual thing again okay it was carp which is canal the light which can be lantern Beach, cycle, drum, and a reed. A fool's procession was the mask. Yako. Oh, we had two people with the beckoning light, though.
Canal was carp. We don't know who had the canal. Okay. This theory ain't it. <laughs> um. Would you guys be mad if I looked it up? <laughs> I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I don't know. Wait, I was going to say, maybe it's like the amount of soul drags each curse Echo had, but everybody had none. Except for the detective's daughter. I'm looking it up. Although my brain too small. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to like look at the order and not know. Conclusion. He okay, later when tasked with deciphering the order, it's this. Oops. I hit my mouse. Okay, I'm looking- I'm not gonna see the answer. This is not a walkthrough channel. Okay, I have no idea how this order is true. I'm just gonna do it, I don't care. So it was drum, beach, reed, carp, light. Which, how? I don't get it. Wow, you got it right. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in just two tries, that's great. Nice job. It's easier than I thought. I just looked at which event followed which. What? It doesn't say what order they happen, though. Like, like how people died? No, that can't- I don't get it. Now we can finally read what's written inside. Let's see. Hmm, I see. What does it say? First is a detailed account of the tragedy surrounding the Rider Resurrection that occurred in Honjo back in the Edo period. The whole story of what we call the Honjo Incident is laid out clearly. That incident was the origin of the seven mysteries. Of that incident was the origin of the seven mysteries of Honjo and their curses, right? Yes. The resentment of the victims of the in Yes. The resentment of the victims of the incident turned into curses, which are the curse echoes. The contents are organized like an answer sheet, so it doesn't give us the information we need. Uh, is there anything else? Yes, here's what we've been looking for. I bequeath this scroll to future generations to be used in the event that calamity should arise from this grievous incident, it says. Ooh, whoa, he foresaw all of this happening. And it continues. Those who seek to forest those who seek to forestall disaster must gather these three items in one place to cast my right of cleansing and expel all rituals and curses in full. 
my soul, that is, my curse echo. My body, that is, a living continuation of my bloodline. My mind, that is, my own consciousness. Wow, so if we gather these three things in one place... Is that the game beeping? Sorry, I thought it was somebody's car alarm. <laughs> it sounded like a fire alarm. Is that the game? It's in my head. I don't know. Anyway. Simon's Rite of Cleansing will activate and completely negate the curses and the Rite of Resurrection. Oh, that's it! That's exactly what we need! The three things are Simon's soul, body, and mind. It says the soul is Simon's curse echo. His curse echo? So Simon himself is part of the seven mysteries. Now that you mention it, Mr. Adaishi said something along those lines before. There's another hint written here. My curse echo holds my curse. My curse echo holds... Hurls holds. My curse echo holds my curse. My curse brings ruin to curse bears. What kind of hint is this? Maybe it'll make more sense as we keep looking. But will the curse echo still appear? The curse bearer is already gone. Next, the body is the descendant of Simon's, it seems. Wasn't Yoshimo a relative of Simon? He and Michio Shiraishi, who had the other talisman. Huh. Both of them have already passed by the time this iteration of the curses was unleashed. Damn, that's true, Rue. Oh, what are we gonna do? His bloodline was so split up. There have to be others. Oh, there's another note here, too. Who, where? Is it another hint? As for the body, seek not only one who bears my blood, but one with strong spirit sense. Such an individual will be able, if a spirit attempts to possess them, to instead take control of that spirit themselves. So it says, Do we know of anyone like that? I can't think of anyone. Let's move on for now. Next is the mind. Ooh, what's the difference between the mind and the soul? Um, in paranormal theory, it said that humans are made up of soul, body, and mind. The mind is essentially thought to be a part of the spirit that makes up one's consciousness, or oneself. It's like driving. The body is the car, the soul is the control system, and the mind is the driver. Hmm, I see. I think that makes sense. You know what else makes sense? Subscribing, because guys, we are five years of the stream. I hope we're close to the end. We gotta be so close. I think we're all just gonna die. I think the whole town is just gonna die. That's my theory. Because all the descendants are dead. Unless we go to the cemetery or something. Anyway, subscribe. Because we're five hours in the stream. And it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing on Mothunk. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a subscription available. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few, hopefully. This will not last another hour. <laughs> Let's see, wrong scene. <laughs> uh, let's see. I love Eddie's voice. So, is there a hint for finding this one too? Well, let's see. There's this. Should the right of resurrection be activated elsewhere, so too shall my mind be awakened there. Simon tried to seal away the right of resurrection, but before he could, Ashino stole the record of fates. Wait, 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 wait. When we got the bad ending with Najima, it was implied that he found Ashino. Like at the very end, his his master. 
Okay, it, they didn't say who it was, but they talked about Ashina. But before he could, Ashina stole the record of fates. So as a countermeasure to the right being activated, he made it so that his mind would be released from the seal. Okay, but... What does that actually mean? What it means is... Simon's mind awoke the night the right was activated. It must be possessing someone out there right now. Who? what? So we have to get that person together with everything else. All right. So we have to find the Kurosako, the descendant, and the person possessed by Simon. Then we just get them together in one place and we'll be good to go. Right. But there is one thing. The second and third ones can be both the same person. Oh. But who could that be? It's like Hamachio lost her memories when she was possessing Yako. Simon's consciousness might not be aware of who it really is. So if he learned the truth, would he start to act on his own accord? Oh, then that person could already be... Oh, hold on a second. Someone's coming this way. Huh? Excuse me. Could I interrupt you for just a moment? When is she supposed to be dead? We haven't seen you in, like, so many hours. Day one we played this. I forgot the voice I gave her. I think I just gave her a normal voice. Um, who might you be? Would you buy this empty can of juice I just finished drinking for 10,000 yen? Huh? I'll even throw in these bones from some fried chicken. You can't beat a deal like this. Um, I, uh... I don't really want them. Don't say that, come on. They're delicious. Actually, I thought I might just have a picnic right there. Won't you join me? Sorry, um... I don't understand. What should we do? Well, it's not like we need this exact spot. And we can't do anything with other people around, so let's just move somewhere else. Um, sorry. We're in the middle of something, so we'll just be on our way. That's when you turn around, you face your back, and then you die. That's the- no, that's the drowning one. What? Uh-huh. It hurts. This is a curse. No. I thought she died though. Cause like she died and then the next morning the police found her. And then the next night she'll go die. We drowned. Hello, old man. You have my heartfelt thanks for your hard work thus far. Let's bring the story of the Seven Mysteries of Honjo to a close. And who could have foreseen such a conclusion? Unfortunately, it seems the so-called mastermind was one step ahead of you. She remains hidden, leaving behind no evidence. Perhaps there is truly no way to stop her. However, should you find that this conclusion is not to your liking, by all means, please pursue a different path. You have done it once before, so I'm sure you already know how. With that... I shall be taking my leave. I have been your humble storyteller.
Good night. Oh, you can go back to the last resort. I thought this was grayed out before. Interesting. Oh, if we don't give her my curse stone. Man, please, think this through. Wait, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> I guess you forgot to take the letter out. Um. Oopsie. <laughs> um. Ma'am, why? It was the only way. Richard? Could we... Settle any... Uh, could we settle any outstanding taps now? Yeah. Sure. Some days later... Amamori, you got a moment? Of course, what is it, Mr. Richard? I was just curious. Have you heard of the legend of the mother who prayed to the Sumida River and resurrected her dead child? What do you want about? Mm -hmm. The mother searched so desperately for her adopted child that she lost her mind. Her son was found dead in Sumida River, so she then rolled a mound and continued to pray there until... Her son somehow emerged from the mound, back from the dead, or so the legend goes. I heard it's being adapted into a null play, too. Interesting, and... Well, it just had me thinking that legends really do exist. Um, sorry to ask it again, but... What do you want about? Wait, bad ending! Okay, so then, theoretically... Hanawe stole her stones by killing her, and then she actually got her son back. I want to see it, though. This can't be the good ending. No, uh The mom was being selfish. Like, that was already decided in the dialogue. Like, bring her some backs only for herself. It's also weird that, like, this overlay is kind of green. It's very green on my TV. It's like the pollution. Also, these credits are slower. Is this like the real ending? This can't be the real ending. Or ending one, probably.
Never mind. It is what it is. Welcome to my office. It might be small and dirty, but welcome. Come on, Ernestine. Say hello. That's it. Good girl. Oh. That boy over there, that must be... Hey, kid. I'm a private investigator. I worked with your mother not too long ago. What's that? You want to be an investigator when you grow up, too? That's great! It's so much better than becoming a police officer. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm a Mori. Don't you tell the kid to give up on his dreams. I think it's a great idea. Why don't you bring us all some tea instead? <laughs> Pardon me. Let's start over. What brings you to my humble office today? Ending 3. Haraway's legacy. So Haraway became a legend. Okay, bad ending. <laughs> ending 3, okay. I have to reset? Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I did the wrong one. I have to ask her about tobacco first. Lamau. Okay, then we try the curse, and she's like, it didn't work. <laughs> then we negotiate. Alrighty. And then she calls me selfish. I'm not gonna give him my stupid little stone. Sorry, but that won't make me back down. Ma'am, that lighter. When did you? Ah, ah, my clothes are on fire. There does not need to be an open flame, as long as there's a spark of fire on you. Oh, I didn't press anything. It just did it automatically. It was the only way. I'm sure. Could we settle any outstanding tabs now? Yeah, sure. That means I can do something different. Let's go to where Ayami admits. here. No, I don't have a stone. 
Oh, and then she kills me. Shit, I forgot. She has the one where if you lie, you die. Ah, there we go. Huh? Ma'am. Ma'am. Damn. Did she fulfill the conditions? <laughs> she sure did. Okay, it's time for a beatdown. Jeez, why did you try to hide her now? Jeez, why did you try to hide it now of all times? I wouldn't have come if you weren't a curse bearer. Damn it, I forgot. Oh, stop. Hmm, too bad. She's already dead. This is horrific. I'll be taking her curse stone. Whoa. <laughs> All the haunting clappers needed was a source of fire. That was a close one. Now then, what will you do, Mr. Investigator? Hmm. You're not a curse bearer, so I don't have any reason to kill you. But I won't show you mercy if you're going to try and capture me. So what'll it be? I still don't know how her curse works. It's too risky to make a move. Um, your employer's already dead anyway, so... There's no reason for you to go out of your way to arrest me, right? I could still do my duty as a citizen. And report you, you know. Oh, what a surprise. This is when you decide to suddenly choose the side of righteousness? She was after the same thing, you know. There's no clean hand when it comes to soul dregs. Dang, she got me. Well, it looks like you don't have anything to say about that. I'll be taking my leave then. Bye-bye. Upon killing Harue Shigima, a fellow curse bear, Ayame Tono obtained more than enough soul dregs for the rite of resurrection. However, it turned out resurrecting someone who died a long time ago required an even larger amount. To fulfill her heart's deepest desire, she needed to harvest more. So, she waited for the sun to set, for when the Feast of Shadows' effects were at its peak. And she used the one-sided reed curse stone she had stolen from Fumichika Nejima. With that, she proceeded to kill all those whose personal information she knew, starting with those who mattered least to her. About the one-sided reed. Kills by dismemberment, one whose face, address, name, occupation, and location are all known by the curse bearer. Many of whom were random men, gullible and disposable, drawn in by the allure of a female university student. One noteworthy victim. One noteworthy victim among them was Tetsuo Satsumi, who, being a curse bearer himself, was promptly targeted for his soul drags. Satsumi's death threw the investigation efforts into a disarray, allowing Ayami to evade capture. Afterwards, she acquired various address registers and phone books and systematically killed the people listed in them. Unsuspecting victims could, unsuspecting victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange death. To, unsuspecting victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange death shook society to its core. Man, she is a freak. Wait, good ending! <laughs> okay, I have a few other ideas of plays I can- parts I can replay. For sure, the dialogue between Ayame and Tetsuo. Wait, she's laughing. She is a freak. Okay, this is a bad ending because the text is going super fast, is what I've learned. But all things must come to an end. And so, in time, the killing stopped. Sometime after the killings, a modern-day genius female ukiyo-e artist burst onto the art scene. She introduced herself as the mysterious mad paintress, 
and her fame grew quickly as she presented one incredible work after another. Praised as the modern reincarnation of Katsushika Hokuzai, she quickly made her own mark on history. Ending 4. Ayame's Aspiration Damn. Okay, so now that's grayed out. So I assume that means I've exhausted the dialogue here. Hmm. I, okay, I don't want to try and get every single ending, but I definitely want to try conclusion again and talk to the girl again. Conversation with Ayami. I think I've let you talk enough. Mind letting me have a turn? By all means. Oh, wait, no, this is not where I, I want the very beginning. No, oh, I don't want to save. <laughs> when I try this again, I want to ask if she's okay first, build rapport, and if that doesn't work, I will glance over at the bush. That way she notices the two kids and Edil. And then maybe she'll like actually listen to them. Because obviously like it showed that I was a really bad negotiator. First I'll ask you about being taken hostage. I'm sorry I couldn't save you from Najima. Are you hurt? Wow, I didn't expect that from you. Hmm? I thought you'd just start questioning me before you bothered to ask how I'm doing. Ah. Uh, well, I am still your father. Ooh, maybe boss can handle this after all. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Good ending, good ending. I'm fine. I managed to get away somehow or other. Right. I'm glad. Ask about her mother. How is she? Yasuko, I mean. Okay, same thing. I'm going to exhaust the dialogue as normal. Oh, ask why she wants to write. Okay, either way, I still called her stupid. He still says, I would not protect you because you're a criminal. I'm gonna think. I wanna try and think. She called the police asking for me by name and demanded that I come meet her here alone. They asked if I wanted a team to set up a perimeter, but I had them stand down. Search, search, sure. She might make a run for it, but I don't want her panicking if she has a curse stone. Besides, I'm not trying to take her in by force. Okay, that was cool. I didn't do much. I'm not handing them over. 
Will you give me the talisman? What? No way, I can't lose the right. No! I think I'll let you talk enough. Ooh, wait. I am hiding something. I'll be honest. If you lie, I lie. No, she still killed me. Dang it. Okay, I want to try it again. But this time, I'm going to start conver at the point where it's like conversation with Ayami. And when she said, are you hiding something? I'm going to say, no, I am not. I'm going to lie. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not. Wow, that's a bold declaration. Now then. With that in mind, can I ask you one more thing? I get it. Why well, you wanted to see me? Then let me tell you one thing first. My curse stone. If you lie, you die. Am I... Am I your real daughter? He still says you're my daughter. And she still kills me! Oh no. Okay, my only saving grace is going to be because earlier when I glanced over at the bush, I was like, you know, I cannot keep looking at the bush. I'm going to expose them. I'm going to just stare at the bush the whole time. I'm going to stare at the bush because I think the kiddos will be a lot better at interrogating and negotiating for the peace than me. Because if it's 6 p.m. and if we figure out the scroll sooner before 8 p.m., maybe we'll have enough time to stop it. Did something move over there? Huh. What the hell are those idiots doing? Whatever I do, I cannot keep looking. Don't look that way. Oh no, come on. I'm looking! I'm looking! No, come on! This has to be it! After every single dialogue choice, I'll look at the bush. I'm looking! Come on. That has to be my saving grace. I'm looking!
I'm gonna keep looking. Is she not looking the way? Come on, just turn. Just turn. I'm looking! Just turn around. Come on! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe? No. I was hoping to show them. Maybe it would work. Oh, no. No! Don't kill me! Oh, no. Okay, what I think is apparent is some of the chapters are fully grayed out. Like, they almost blended with the background. And then some of them are just, like, slightly lighter. You can tell back here, there's no other different choices I can make. So there's probably so many different other dialogue options I could have done in so many different other chapters. So many different other chapters. So many other chapters. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's see how many endings I got. I got... That was not an ending. I got ending one. Wait, I gotta write these down. I got ending one. Machio's Grunge. Ending two, I got ending two, Najima's Reminiscence. Ending three, Haraway's Legacy. I got ending four, Ayame's Aspiration. And then ending five, Conclusion. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I did get all the endings. Pause. Pause. Wait. Wait. Wait, how many endings in Paranorma Sight? There are six endings. Wait, okay, okay, I got one more.
it seems like I didn't get the true ending. Which, since it showed that one girl in the yellow sweater in the main conclusion, I assume it's something to do back here. Okay, I think I will look up how to get the ending. I don't want to just watch it since I've gotten five out of six. You know, that's pretty close. I'll actually play through it. I just need to figure out how to get there. Okay, I was right. You do have to go back to Shogo's storyline. Which, if you think about it, that's the only one that doesn't have an ending. So it would make sense to go back. Okay. So it says you need to play through Shogo Ike's chapter Sh Kinshibori Park to unlock the chapter called Cleansing. Oh, part three. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! You know what? I think I remember this. I, I skimmed through the walkthrough a little bit. But when I play through this, Shogo dies, right? Like, in the morning they find him dead. It's because I turned around. In the sequence, when you're talking to um, the guy who was like, I will kill you if you turn around, you touch something in the background. In Shibori Park. Hmm. Huh? Oh, good. You're awake. What? Hi, um. Are you okay? You were so rattled and confused, I thought you really lost it. Do you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Any humor is off balance. Wait, what did you say? I think I've heard that before. You're the one who said it earlier. Oh right, that must have been it. My humors were off balance. What, back there? You ended up like that because of your humors. Yeah, I've heard that at this age your humors... Yeah, I've heard that at this age, your humors being even a little bit off can be fatal. I'm glad you're back to normal now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. But I really don't remember what happened. Hmm, sounds like what happened to me. Maybe this place is dangerous somehow. What? Are you backing out? Yeah, it just doesn't feel safe to me. And I'm worried about you. Let's call off today's investigation. Come on! I just started feeling back to normal too. Nope. Not happening. Go home. I'll even pay your cab fare, okay? I ended up having to force a still protesting Yoko into a taxi. Even then, she still wouldn't stop complaining. So to placate her, I promised I'd search the park on my own for a little while longer. What? Shit. <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Where's the chapter called Cleansing? Wait. Speaking to Takumi? Wait. Oh wait, there's two Kinshibori parks. Reset, editor, cut here. Oh 
Oh, it's Takumi. Okay, so when this happened, you die. If you turn around, you die. Takumi Yumioka, he said his name was. He hasn't taken his eyes off me for a second. Even now, he's still staring right at me. Who the hell is he? Maybe if I focus, I can recall something useful. Wait, recall? I forgot about this mechanic. Takumi Yomioka. How does he... Takumi Yomioka. How the hell does he know me? It's not like I've been getting out much. I barely have a life outside of work. Oh yeah, he's my co-worker. Ooh, what's that? Huh? What the hell is that? It looks like a light. Floating in midair. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna stay in this position, because if I turn completely around, I die. So I turn back to... this guy. And then I turn to the right again. Oh, it is closer! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, the I'm not gonna look at the walkthrough from this point. That's what it told me to do. Whoa, it's coming closer. Is this another one of the seven mysteries? It looks like a will o -wisp, maybe. Was there anything like that in the seven mysteries? I'm gonna touch it. Huh? Am I supposed to touch it? Oh, there's a reason why the guy in the suit can't see it, because he doesn't have spirit powers. He just says he does. Yo! Cleansing. When the body, soul, and mind of Simon Tsuchimi... When the body, minds, When the body, soul, and mind of Simon Tsuchimikado have all been brought together, the rite of cleansing is activated, dispelling all rituals and curses that have previously been performed. Okay, it does make sense that Shogo is the reincarnation, because... Oh, maybe that's why the guy was in the park, because he's following all the descendants of Simon. My, my. Finally, you've arrived at this juncture. I expected no less from you. That would mean you have managed to bring everything to light. Though there is the possibility that you have wound up here by chance. So before I take you any further, I must ask you a number of questions. About what exactly the soul, body, and mind of Simon Suchi Mikado are. Firstly, yeah, because if you would have gotten this part accidentally, you'd be like, who the frick is Simon? <laughs> Which curse echo represents the soul of Simon Such Suchi Mikado? The ever-burning lantern. No, the beckoning light. The beckoning light. Yes! I didn't even look at it. Yes, that is exactly it. After his defeat at the hands of Ishino in the Honjo incident, Simon wandered about near Hon Onji. The form of his curse echo changed over time with the legend he left behind. This is the curse echo which was acquired by Mayu Chozawa. But when called forth by Simon's body and mind, it appeared momentarily before him. Let us continue. Who served as the self of Simon Tsuchimikado? Who was his body, his descendant who carried his blood in their veins? Who served as the self? Hajime? It's either Hajime or Yellow Sweater Girl. I'll try Hajime first. Hajime. 
Please be right. Dang it! Huh. Are you toying with me, perhaps? I'm afraid humor will not get you far here. Please answer once more. Okay, it's Yellow Sweater Girl. Yoko. Machio. Wait, I want to make sure I spell it right. Machio. his body his descendant who carried his blood in their veins <clears throat> okay okay the daughter no ayame i mean it would make sense cuz ayame ayame was killing everybody No one else was revealed to be a descendant, I don't think. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't it like... Maybe it could be Mayu? Because she was the one who got his curse. I'm gonna try Mayu. Because I think it would make sense that he would possess somebody who's of his bloodline. No! No, come on! Could be Yako. Have you tried Machio? People who have spirit sense. I'll try Hitomi. Okay, I know that's not right. What I tried. Thank you. 
Maybe Makoto? Let's try Makoto. Maybe Shino? And there's so much extra lore. Ashino? Why is there so much lore about Najima? I'll try Shino and then Ashino. Let's try Shino. Is this Shogo? I did not guess Shogo. Imagine it's Shogo. Like I said, maybe he is the descendant because he's the one who actually gained the... He was able to touch it. Oh my god, it was Shogo! That's what I literally said earlier! But I didn't type it in. Oh my god, I'm so DOM. Okay. Correct again. Although Shogo Ike was born to an ordinary family, the blood of a distinct relative ran thick in his veins. In truth, the same is true for Yoko Funugaga. Funu... I, I didn't say it right. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> she was also... She was also one who had the blood of a distant relative coursing through her. In her case, it was Ashino. Simon and Ashino. Fated to meet again all these hundreds of years later. Now, for my final question. Who is the mind of Simon Suchi Mikado? Tell me the name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to his. Yoko. Yoko. Yeah, because Yoko was at the very end. And they killed us. Yoko! <laughs> I see. You believe it to be Yoko? I'm afraid that is not. The answer to this is most important, so please answer me once more. Who is the mind of Simon? Uh... 
they said it in like the final sequence. The mind is who controls. Dude, I can figure this out. Because they said the body is the car. Who's the mind? Oh, I have more info about the squirrel now. A spirit that is my own consciousness. My body is Sojo. My soul that is my curse echo. My spirit that is my own consciousness. Shinno? the mind. Oh, tell me the person's name was conscious of directly tied to his. Um, Shogo? <laughs> it cannot be Shogo again, huh? That'd be silly. Imagine. <laughs> Maybe it's Ayame? Because they did say Ayame is linked to Ashino. It was Hajime? Try all the same names again. Ajime. This is stupid. You know what else is stupid? Wrong scene. <laughs> Ads, because guys, we're an hour in the stream, so subscribe now. Who is it? I'm gonna try Ayami. Is it Mayu? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yako.
Can't be meal. I'll try Najima. That's the only other person I can think of. If it's Shino, I'm going to scream. I'm looking it up. I don't know. I don't know. Watch this. No. You believe it to be Peason? Are you saying you believe it to be yourself? Are you certain? Yes. You are correct. Finally, you have remembered. That's right, you are. Simon's consciousness awoken by the curses and the rite of resurrection. Okay, I guess it would make sense to be yourself because we're literally playing on all the different storylines. It isn't very meta, but I would have never guessed to do that. Oh, because like, oh, well, we're the mind, we're the driver of the car. Oh my god. However, having lost your memories, you forgot about the duty assigned to you. This is, if I may say so, where I played my part, guiding you through the events of this story. As your consciousness was all that was left of you, you manipulated time and space by the way of the story chart, jumping from vessel to vessel. And manipulated your host's actions by whispering commands into their ears. In doing so, you were able to get the full picture of what needed to be done. But, at one point, while still unconscious, you managed to remember your duty. The so-called mastermind behind these events, the one who awakened the Rite of the Curses, was Yoko Fugunaga, descendant of Ashino herself. You unconsciously activated your curse and killed her. How interesting that she awakened Simon's consciousness at the same time as the curses. That was the one and only time she could have been stopped. Ah, oh, but. Due to your influence on Shogo Ikie's will, Yoko Fukunaga was brought back to life. Using the story chart to undo her death, I led you to believe that it was the work of the Rite of Resurrection itself. But as it turns out, seeing what would transpire if the Mastermind was not killed at the onset, this will ultimately reveal the way to put an end to the curses for good. There were certain things which would have answered all your questions, and you noticed them. For example, even while under your control, Shogo A.K. willingly used his curse. Yeah, he didn't! And I didn't tell him to! That asshole! 
When I asked you early on how many Shogo Ikie was killed, this is what I meant. Had you not used the curse, Shigo Ikie would have done so on his own accord. Furthermore, Mayu Chozo was able to recall information which only you knew. She was able to do this because she was connected to you through her curse Echo, the beckoning light. Now, allow me to ask you one last question. If you, knowing all that you know now, had the ability to resurrect one life, what would you do? Oh, this is the same question he asked me at the start. I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice myself. That is Ayame. I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice someone. Harue. I'd use it if it came at no cost. Oh, I don't know who that would be. I wouldn't want it. Let someone else have it. That was Harue, if she gave the person the stone. Or, no, that would be uh, Tetsuki. Because he let himself die to have Ayame have the, the dredges. And I guess I'd use it if it came at no cost. I guess that would be Yako. I wouldn't want it. I, I personally, I would destroy it. I think if somebody dies, they die. They should stay dead. I would destroy it. Oh, uh -huh. I see. I see. That was Simon's original intention. Yay, it is me, Simon. Peace in. Simon, it rhymes. Well, I, I apologize for leaving it out of the options when I first asked you this question. Oh. Cool. Now, it is time to bring things to a close. Upon your arrival here, the rite of cleansing was activated, dispelling all other rituals and curses. Look upon the fruit of your efforts. Oh wait, nobody's gonna die now! Because this is the night one before anybody dies. And then we shall leave this world behind for good. Thank you, truly, for all the work you have done. Shogo Ike, 1 a.m. Huh. Oh. That's what happened. I can't believe it. I finally understand. Yeah. I was the one who did that to Yoko. The blood of the Omiyoji that's inside me broke into my consciousness and gave me that curse. Yoko was after the Rite of Resurrection. She was the one who awakened the curses of the Seven Mysteries and cast the fear shadows. And the only way to stop all of it was to put a stop to her here. Otherwise, the right of cleansing might have been negated too. I wonder how much of it really was her doing all these things. Yoko. I guess that explains why I felt it was fate when this all started. Though she didn't seem to notice. I guess things were always destined to end like this from the moment we met. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. No. No. No point in thinking like that now. God, I need a drink. I'm thinking... A Moscow Mule. Or two, or maybe three. Haraway Shigima. 12 a.m. Ma'am, what is it? Oh, huh. just a dream. It seems that it was all just a dream. I dreamt that there was such a thing as the Rite of Resurrection. Just a dream. I'm sorry to say it, but there isn't. Right, of course not. But, even if there is no such thing, I promise you that I will get to the bottom of the kidnapping. 
In fact, I've happened to find a very important lead from over a year ago. Something that's evaded our reach until now. An eyewitness from the scene of the kidnapping. I see. Tetsuo Sutsumi. 1 a.m. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? The medical unit told me to get down here. What happened? As I was looking into Yoshimi's death at the former Yasuda Gardens, another body was discovered at a different park in the area. Could they be related? Hmm. It sure looks like it, but... Excuse me. We found this among the victim's belongings. Thought you'd want to know. Hmm, what's this? Ooh, what? Oh, what the hell? Boss, look what was in the female victim's address book. Yoshimi's phone number and photo. What? And the picture. There's an extra on it. There's an extra on it and a bunch of weird symbols and a hole where his heart would be. No. Do you think, I mean, could this be some kind of curse or something? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you to try not connect everything to the occult? Damn it. Is this a Nakagoshi case after all? Hmm, what was that, boss? Uh, don't worry about it. Make sure you put that photo into evidence. There is no doubt that this is related to Yoshimi. Make sure you do a thorough sweep of the area. I'm gonna make a phone call. Got it? Leave it to me! Spend as long as you want on the phone! Yako Sakazaki, 1 a.m. What is she doing? Oh yeah, they're at the board! Mio, it turns out Machio really did die in an accident. Yeah, if we ask around, we might be able to get a little more information. I guess there really never really was such a thing as the Rite of Resurrection. But I did feel like there was a spirit watching over us. Wait, is she still possessed? No! Damn it, why? Nothing's happening! But now my contract won't be... No! I should never have believed in this blasted record of fates. Yeah, screw that guy. So all of you watching from far, far away, the Rite of Resurrection has never existed. Not in any world, not in any time. So I ask you to take the life you hold and move boldly forward, one step at a time. Uh, Richard, Eli's out. Do you want to question him? Hang on, Ario. I want to get enough evidence for a search warrant. Let him go for now. That's the kidnapper. Get him! Yes, I'm the one who did it. So, please, help me. She, she's always following me. Sayako is still possessed. I'm so sorry, Machio. I had no idea. What? Hajime was killed? By this Yoko Fukunaga? How can that be? He wasn't the kind of guy who could just be picked off like that. You know that. Yes, and boss is hiding something. Hmm. There seems to be some kind of secret hidden in Hajime's family tree. Let me see if I can find out what it is. I had heard you would be absent today. Is there something you need? Well, my 
seem to have this spirit sense thing all of a sudden. I know it's the sort of thing our chairwoman doesn't approve of, so I thought I'd mention it. What? You could have called. Didn't think you were the standoffish type. I had to find out from you on. Oh, whoops, sorry. I forgot all about my favorite chief inspector. The hell are you planning? Nothing so heinous as you're thinking. I'm only Makoto Ashimi after all, nothing but a lowly janitor. How are things with you? You getting along with your daughter? Well, you know, more or less. What is this bisexual lighting right now? Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. My goodness, what a ride. Granted, I did have to look through a walkthrough sometimes. Ah, oh, what are my thoughts? I'd have to say, in terms of fun, 9 out of 10. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I wanted to see what would happen. I didn't realize this was going to be a visual novel, though. So it's basically just story. There's very little actual gameplay. Point and click was fine. It was kind of frustrating how some of the puzzles were like meta. But I also like that. Like once you figured out, you're like, oh, that makes sense. Or that's pretty clever. Overall, I would say 7 out of 10 in terms of like cohesively. I really enjoyed it. But I don't think like a gamer would enjoy this. Because this was over like how many hours of stream? Like nearly 20 hours of recording and I did full VA. I think if you're playing this on your own you can like speedrun. The average playthrough is like 15 hours. So it took me five hours more. But honestly, still really enjoyable. I would say the best thriller game I've played ever. I love the effects of the different focus settings they had. And also it was very pretty. It wasn't too gory. Like, it didn't, like, show any, like, active. I like how it was a lot of it was, like, still scenes. Because I, you know, I can process a picture, but, like, seeing, like, somebody do a violent act, I, I don't like as much. I thought this was great. It was very lore-y, though. But that's, like, every single Japanese horror game. So it makes sense. Overall, very good. Very good. Granted, if you're watching me play this, I don't think you can play it on your own. I got most of the endings. I think I got all six. This is allegedly the six. But yeah, very good. You know what? I'm glad I actually finished it. Took a few months, but I did it. And we saved the city, everybody. I don't think we've heard this song in game either. Paranormal Sight. The Seven Mysteries of Hondra. Wait, they should have had seven endings. That would have made so much sense. <laughs> Wow. Another conclusion. Ending 6. There were never any rituals. There were never any curses. There was only the ordinary world. Where will those involved go from here? Look upon the town you have saved. And once you have seen it, I ask that you leave. Okay! I'll do that. I'll leave. 
Don't you worry. I will never touch this game again. It was scary. <laughs> okay, wait. It's actually frozen. I can't press any of the buttons. Well... Wait, I can't even save. Well, guys. Let's see if it works at least. Okay, it did save. It did save. Yeah, I think I'll give some more of my final thoughts. I'll mute the music because the music is very loud. Okay. So, overall, I think this was very fun. Not necessarily a good game because I feel like gaming needs a bit more engagement. Like button pressing, critical thinking. The puzzles weren't too difficult. Some of the meta ones weren't like, they did break my brain a little bit, but still really enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed playing. It felt like I was watching like a J drama or a K drama. It was, I think it was written pretty well. Some of the things were predictable. Like you could see some of the twists coming, but I, w I still liked it a lot. Man, if you got to the end of this, good job. <laughs> Um, I don't know how long the actual edit would be, but the stream footage is, like, at least 20 hours. <laughs> um, whoever edits this, I'm sorry. Which is probably gonna be me. Okay, so that was Paranormal Site, The Seven Mysteries of Honjo. If they, if this studio makes another game, I will play it. It was so freaking good. Worth every single dollar. That I paid for this game. I think I bought it on sale, actually. <laughs> I don't remember how much I paid, but I bought it on sale. And I'm glad I bought it. So good. There we go. I finally beat the game. And I got all six endings. Let's freaking go. You know what? Wait, that's the second game I've 100 percented Somewhat naturally, mind you. I did Eastward and Paranormal I actually did it, guys. I'm a gamer. Wait, I have new sub emotes twice in my title. I'm so dumb. Okay. I'm so D-O-M. Let's do calligraphy. Let's wrap up stream here, guys. I'm hungry. No more scary games for a while. Do not worry. Do not worry. It'll be happy go lucky games from this point on. Until October, of course. Do, do, do. Let's get some happy music on. Here we go. Whew. I'm so glad I beat it though. I actually did it. Now we're done. Okay, we had somebody redeem with their channel points. So, you know the drill. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points or subscribe you should subscribe because tomorrow we're doing our weekly sub only stream probably gonna do cult of the lamb because like i need to practice combat i want to do that stream where i beat the one who waits at most hardest difficulty and then i might be able to stream this weekend i am not sure yet I am connecting the camera. Well, why is it so dark? Wait, I want to see my emotes on screen. Dude, Peace I2 Gold is so good. Dude, I like all the new emotes. I'm gonna work on the animated ones. They might take a while because I'm trying to prioritize other edits right now. Okay. 
you know the drill. If you want to reach your name, I must do is use your channel points. There we go. Do we have any other redeemers? This is your last call. Last call. Man, PSA 2 gold. I can't stop looking at it. It's so good. <laughs> PSA 2 no way is also really funny. It's hard to see because emotes are small, but like... <laughs> shopping. Let's end it off on this song. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out. And watching me finally beat Paranormal Site. Now I can finally, like, uninstall it. Okay, I actually don't know how much, like, data space it took, but probably a lot. Um, today's Thursday. I will be live again tomorrow afternoon for a subscriber-only stream. So make sure if you want to watch, you are subscribed. It's $5 or free if you have an Amazon, if you have an Amazon Prime. Also, since today is the last day of February, um, March starts tomorrow. I do have something very special planned for mid-March. You guys are going to lose your mind. I promise. It'll probably be, like, the second week of March, because I get some... I have, like, three appointments the first week of March. So next week. It makes me want to be sad. <laughs> No, it's fine. I'm good. I get like a little treat whenever I go to a doctor. Okay, so make sure if you haven't already, you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash at and 17 for weekly stream highlights and Peace and Seventy clips for daily clips from stream. Also, if you want something to write to watch, if you want something to watch right now, check out my most recent YouTube video. It is I rank the entire Mario Kart DLC. Put it on before you go to sleep and uh, listen to my lovely voice. My throat feels fine. Um, honestly, doing six hours of VA two days in a row? Not good. Don't do it, Peason. Yeah, I'm just gonna look through. I think March, it's gonna be classic games. I mean, since we just beat Eastward and Paranormal Cyber, we're gonna have to start a new story game, huh? Maybe, maybe we'll talk about it during tomorrow's sub only stream. I have a lot. I have a lot to get through. Like, I'll buy games whenever they're on sale. So, I think I'll do that. We'll have subscribers pick the next game I can play. I kind of want to do a dating sim. I didn't do a dating sim during February. I was going to, but I didn't. Maybe we'll do a dating sim the first week of March. We'll see. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a sub only stream. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye. Oh wait, outro song. Do 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 do.
Okay. I'll see some of you guys tomorrow, and then everybody else maybe this weekend or Monday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good night. Wait, you know what? I'll see you guys next month in March. <laughs> huh.